Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Come on, baby, fuck tough. Come on, baby, fuck tough. Who do we got on the show, D'Anthony? Whoever the fuck this is. Come on. So Come on. Eyelashes are acting up right now. Your eyelashes are acting up? <laughs> yeah. You're acting up right now, Tiffany. You are fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you're out of order. We So, obviously... You guys know the song at home, the song we're working on, uh, Fuck Tough, Breathe Hard, oh, Fuck Tough. Know they know it. We <laughs> went over it one day on the show. Dan's working on another one. Uh, which one? What's the, how's um, the hook go to that one? You can, it's, you can suck on my balls, you son of a bitch. Right, but sing it. You can suck on my balls, you son of a bitch. Like really raspy. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. can suck on my balls, you son it's of like a bitch. It's like John Cougar Mellencamp style. Yeah, it's style. very Cougar. Yeah. Very cougar. A little bit of melon camp, but very cougar. But this, yeah. the trick about both of these songs is they take a hard turn into gay shit real fast. Every oh, single so time. Oh, so that's yeah. why you want your to turn super gay super quick. I don't that's want why. it to. That's just the way it worked out. Just, that's life. We uh, were, you, we, if, you were, if you were writing the song, you have the choice in the matter of no, where it ends up. I don't. You, it's gayness isn't a choice. Mm. First the artistry takes over. It's offensive that you'd even say <laughs> no, that. I didn't say that. I said the song, dickhead. Well, here's the deal. <clears throat> we both decided we were going to write love ballads. Yep. Uh, and it just came out that way. So. You're, you're a seer specialist, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. So I look at this as a form of my survival. Oh, God. <laughs> I have to write gay ballads or else no one will. Or you cannot breathe. I you can't. Cannot I can't get out of my Ziploc day. bag. I can't get out of my skin. You know? <laughs> mm. I just need to, mm. So basically, in order for you to get out of your sleeping bag... Essentially, yes. right? It's like, I gotta sing a gay ballad. Yeah, it's just a hardcore wow. gay ballad. Okay. Spread those cheeks and let my wiener slide in. It's like <laughs> that's it's not gay. A, he just wants to swan dive into somebody's butthole. That's what yeah. it sounds like. I, I mean, wanna, that's not that big a deal. I want to look gay inside of That would be a big you. butthole, though. Think huge. about it. Be a big oh. gaper. Yeah, a huge gaper. We were talking about uh, buttholes, buttholes before we came on. <clears throat> Yeah. You had a crazy story. What was the name of this chick? What'd you call her? <laughs> I don't remember her real name. No, what was her nickname? That's b- we shouldn't I'll, use her I'll real name. I'll get to that. What was it? Exhaust? I'll get to that. What was it? <clears throat> Just relax. Let me get to my fucking story. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm like super excited. <laughs> no, so uh, this woman had, and she wasn't a woman, I guess. She was a teenager at the time, and I was as well, so it's not that weird. Um, mm. <clears throat> this dude I knew in, in high school hooked up with this girl, and she had... The, what he said to us, I'm like, did you really fuck that girl? He's like, yeah, it was crazy. I'm like, what do you mean crazy? Crazy like it was good or crazy it was like why? He goes, well, she had two buttholes and no vagina. I'm like, excuse that's me. Not whoa, whoa, right whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, that's not, I don't think that, she wouldn't be alive if that were the case. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he's like, well, I just, the front one looked like a butthole. I'm like, by the front one, you mean a vagina. Yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah, I call it the front one. I'm like, that was a weird choice of words, but I'm with you there. I call oh, my, yeah. we won't forgive it. I call my dick and balls the thickness. So yeah. what, what can I say? Forgive and forget. <clears throat> um, at any rate, he said that she was so fat that her vagina had looked like a butthole to him. Ooh. So we called her dual exhaust. Oh no! You called the you you guys called not this to girl? her face. That would be rude. Okay, but she was known. But as in dual our exhaust. circle of Who else four or five friends, no, I, I think, feel like your friend had a really hard time trying to differentiate between. A butthole and a vagina. He may be. I feel like he's very inexperienced. Well, yeah, we were like fucking 14. This how do they look yeah. similar? Well, no matter how I'll back fat up this someone could be. I'll back up this There's claim. a level of fat. You've seen a vagina look like a butthole, which, by the way, wouldn't that be like kind of good, maybe? Because aren't buttholes tighter? Uh, yes, but uh, you want you uh, to me. I'm confused. No, how? look, everybody's got their own choices here in life, right? What they want. Picky choosies. Sure. Um, some people like buttholes. Some people like singing gay. Power exactly. I, I want my. <laughs> I want a distinct butthole, and a very distinct <laughs> vagina. And, when, and I want them to look separately. I don't want them to look similar. How do they look? How would one look similar? I've seen. I, I know exactly what he's talking about. On a fatter person, uh, we've all watched endless amounts of porn. I don't Ooh. watch fat people. I've never watched <clears throat> fat people porn where butthole looks Sometimes like a Sometimes it slips pussy. over and you're like, whoopsie. That, I, there's, there's a thumbnail there that's something that caught my eye on that thumbnail. I need to peruse on over <laughs> there. And just, give, just give it a little peeksies. Look, there's nothing wrong with taking a peeksie. At all. It's a thumbnail. Thumbnail's yeah. a thumbnail. Then I didn't you, say there was. What I'm just saying, though, is how... 
can you not differentiate you between power, the two? So you power glide over there, right? Boom. One's like, I feel like would be a much easier to get into than the other. Flip it on. It depends on how much hair <laughs> and it depends on how fat you are. So, because that covers a lot of the It area. also probably depends on the, f- where. so if you take the front side mm-hmm. of the woman, you're like, oh, the hole closest to her front side, the boobs, is the vagina Correct. area. Like, it's not that hard. Yeah, uh, yeah, but you don't know if those got flipped around at birth or something. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I, I honestly think thing. it would be easier to poop out of the front and piss out of the back. Oof. Honestly. I w- well. Because you could shit standing up at a urinal. I like the Ugh. way my body's made. I appreciate I, shitting I, out of the last hole. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah the I don't right want. Hole. Yeah, I don't want some dude. <clears throat> can you imagine that fucking me in the butthole when really like my butthole's in the front? And then what happens if I accidentally like you know? Yeah. I'm pooping on him. Yeah, you're pooping on him forward. Yeah. Well, that's that's gonna happen from time to time, anyways. Wow. What if you could just take your leg off and dump the poop out? How many people <laughs> have you pooped on? None. I was well, say, how, how, probably my parents when they were changing my <laughs> well, diaper. Well, okay, but, but I'm saying yeah. adult-wise, because you said it happens from time to time. People so get pooped curious. on sometimes. Yeah, people like that. What are they called? The Cleveland <laughs> Steamer? Cleveland Steamer, scat porn. There's a lot of names for it. A Cleveland scat Steamer porn. is, what, what's that? Uh, we shit on someone's chest. Chest. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you go yeah, chest. Yeah, nice old warm <clears throat> doogie right on the chest. Yeah, holes. and then there's uh, Seems the whole plate glass crowd. Who, uh, there is, yeah. Where someone likes to sit underneath a table, table, like glass a glass coffee, coffee table. table, and watch piss and shit, like being all rubbed on it. You see, I yeah. use those Stuff. for doing cocaine. <laughs> all right, well, they do too, and that's how you shit. No, you can't do both. Well, you you can't use first and then shit it no, out. No, no, you can't use the same glass table for shitting and cocaine. You can snort shit and cocaine at the same time you if you both. really want. You're in that. Yeah, you, you, can you know, there's do fucking both. people out there who are in some weird shit. Oh, totally. Uh, the, the the ones that is weirdest to me is when it's unexpected. So I had a buddy of mine who dated this girl for like four years, uh-huh. right? And they hadn't really dabbled into anything crazy. And then one night, he was like, "Well, let's try anal," and she fucking loved it. Like, yeah, was that her first time? Yes. Oh. Came harder than she's ever come, and yeah, she started demanding that every time they had sex. Sure, um, that makes sense. It does, but it's that's a weird thing to slip into where you're just like, hey, man, that's not what I signed up for. Now you want to butt fuck every <laughs> night. Like, because that's a different. Some guys are like that, though. But some guys do. I know guys who much prefer like 99% of the time butt sex over vaginal sex. Really? Yeah. I Like, we have a buddy who we went through free fall school with. Mm-hmm. And like, he'll talk to my husband more about it than me because obviously they're more into the butt talk than him and I are. Sure. But he'll be like. That's his preferred hole. And to me, I'm kind of like, eh, that's... Eh. I'm not, I'm I'm not, I'm not like, in that camp. Like, yeah. So you said 99%. I'm in the 1%. Well, I'm saying he... Not vaginal 99% sex. of guys. But I'm saying if he sex has over. sex out of 100 <clears throat> times, 99%, this individual wants butt sex. Where, you know... Hmm. I'm just glad my husband's not like that. Seems I don't like mind it from time to time, but, you know, the vagina's a vagina for a reason. Exactly. You know? I, I, I'll, I'll, I lean more towards the vagina. You, Dan? You, uh, yeah, big time. Vag yeah. man? Yeah. yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's Seems like a lot of work. For, I mean, it's fun. Yeah. You know, here now every now and again. But. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a nice little pick me up. Yeah, but to me, I feel like if someone is so obsessed with the butthole, like guy, like if a guy is so yep. obsessed with the butthole, then it makes me start to wonder, like, well, everyone has buttholes. Right. Could you flip on over to dudes? Uh, yeah. I'm the same way. I'm in the same camp where right? it's just like, yeah. So my buddy came to me and was just like, yeah, I don't know what to do. I've been dating this girl for four years, and now. I don't. I don't want to fuck her in the ass every night. And I was like, well, "Why not?" Uh-huh. And he went over the things because he's like, "Dude, we. I, I have to buy fucking lube. Oh, okay, it smells weird in the fucking bedroom forever." Yeah. And he's like, "Then you start <laughs> doing it multiple nights, right?" Yeah. And he's like, "Then that scent gets in there." Uh, and he's like, "The fucking cleanup afterwards sucks. Like, I've got lube and all kinds of shit on me to get you know an asshole prepared." Yeah, it's like a, it's like it's like Wolfgang Puck cooking a meal. <laughs> Where it's just like, man, I don't want to see everything you went through to get get to the yep. the duck. Um, I just want to see the finished duck. With this, you kind of don't have a choice. So did you break up with her? Uh, yeah, they because ended up breaking it? up. Can you imagine that? Like, she telling her girlfriends, like, yeah, <clears throat> dude, this guy broke up with me because I want to anal too much. Like, everyone would be like, what Crazy, the right? fuck? Crazy, yeah. yeah. I think in, unless you're in it, though, if you're a vag guy, Sorry. power vag guy, yeah. and then all of a sudden your world's been turned over sure um <laughs> face side down flip yeah over, the other maybe. side around <laughs> world's been flipped over i like when you said clean up i've heard horror stories before people yes. having anal or using anal beads or uh the butt plugs and everything yeah. and just like shit splurting all over the place yeah like bad it's natural that's life 
I've never had that happen to me. But then you've also seen, have you seen uh, those porns with the gaping assholes? Oh, well, uh, I mean, yes, no. I have. It seems, I, I worry it looks for like those. a dark hole. Like, I it's worry. Just... Somebody chip a golf ball into one. <laughs> <laughs> I did. It was, I was just like, oh, but the golf ball disappeared too. No, and I was like, dead not. serious. I worry for those people. I wonder if their <sighs> lungs are just going to fall out of their ass. You know what I mean? Like at what point? Not even their lungs, yeah. all their intestines, a prolapsed asshole. Yeah. We t- <laughs> Jesse Christmas, was talking to me about it. Christmas mm-hmm. Abbott was on the show, so she was talking about it. Uh, it happened to her after birth. She if no one's Googled those anus. things, Google prolapse asshole. Yeesh. It is disgusting. Yeah. It's literally your large intestine popping out of your, your booty hole. Yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, it's like a catcher's mitt. <laughs> You're punching. Like, you can punch it back in. Yeah, but some yeah. people like that. Like, some people are turned on. That is a medical condition. <laughs> What's your weirdest fucking thing? That I don't think I have anything weird. Nothing. I, I don't think so. Oh, co- well, according to Jesse, apparently fucking out in like beaches and woods and truck stops and shit like that. No, you're fine with all that. <laughs> truck stops was kind of weird. But yeah. How is that weird? Yeah. It's in the middle of the night. It's not a clean place. We weren't doing it in a bathroom. It was outside, but we were at the truck stop. I was bent over. He, he went for it. Sure. I had my vibrator in my purse. Sure. We were hid behind like a little bush tree. No one was there. What about you, Dan? What, what about me? What's your weird thing? Yeah, do you have Everybody's a weird, got a weird thing. I don't think I have a weird thing, to be honest. I, say, I don't know. What would people consider weird anyway? So I like, fu- I, I don't know, I like fucking at friends' parties. Like at their fucking houses. Like on the coats? <laughs> In the coat room? <laughs> you should do that. <laughs> coats, bathrooms. Like, you should do that. Y- you name it where you're just like, oh. And it's usually like a, like a nice like adult dinner party, but mm-hmm. I have fucked at a child's party where you're like, right, Have you? Cool, yeah. Where you're That's just sadly. like. Yeah, it's not bad. Just to do it, you know I don't, what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know if I have a w- really weird thing. Honestly, I should develop one. I guess at this yeah. point. Yeah, but there's nothing you <clears throat> s- you skate towards like pregnant porn or anything like that. Because usually you're it's talking something about porn wise uh, or, or just life. Yeah, where you're like, hey man. Because so usually at- people who don't have like they're not in, in relationships, right, will we'll veer off into the prego world for a little bit. See really? some of these things on here well, that people think are like pregnant porn or impregnation porn because those are two different things. The, no, no, th- talk about are. pregnant porn with a lady with a huge stomach. Yeah, no, it's like big old belly. Why would but I want to see that? Uh, there was <laughs> one that I saw the other day that was bloated, so it's very specific. You're not pregnant, you're just bloated. So there's a bunch of bloated. Were they farting the whole time? Too? No, but they're just rubbing it, and they're like their oh. belly. Yeah, belly, everything. They're just like I just there's a lot a of weird meal. shit out there. Yeah. People, I was say, people like farting on cakes and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes. Who's that for? <laughs> so attraction. Let's see. Attraction in, in, in inanimate objects. Um, people can get off the giant things. They're riled up by ghosts. Like these are like I looked it's up just, weird. So fetishes. the giant ones I've seen where it's just like, hey man, th- here's a three foot dildo that somebody's stuffing inside themselves. Yeah. Well, I've seen fetish, a lot of those. Oh, there's a fetish for mirrors. I didn't know that. What if it was a really big building? Would that get them going too? Hmm. Uh, heights. Heights yeah, is. that's Heights as well. I, I saw these one uh, rock climbers <gasps> fucking. Really? Yeah. That was a big one. That would, yeah. I, actually, people have done it skydiving before, but they've also lost their licenses and stuff. But people have fucked while skydiving. In the air? Yeah, in the air. How long can you do that? Though? I don't, um, <coughs> well, it depends on altitude that you jump out, but that's only going to be 60 seconds. By the time, if you, let's say if you get out Oof. at a good. Can you get off in 60 seconds? How do you keep a boner in the air? I like don't know. That? I guess apparently the guy and the girl were like naked together in the plane and like all right, the guy was already turned on. And so they just made sure to get video of them fucking like the physical act of doing it in the sky, I guess. That's great. Like, I don't think anyone got off by any means. I think it was just to say that, like, hey, we did it. What if and then you they lost imagine? their license yeah. and they weren't can able to jump if, anymore. Can you imagine if you pulled out and there's somewhere on earth? Big low to come, just fucking hit somebody, right? Can just. you imagine that while he was inserted mm. in her, he opened up his parachute, <laughs> he ripped great. his own dick off? Yeah, ri- I mean, I don't Is think he ripped happen? off, but it wouldn't get ripped off. It would. That would just be a very um, intense exit. I don't know. It depends on the angle <laughs> and the force. <laughs> probably, Honestly. yeah, it depends. Wow. I don't know how they would. They, it's probably definitely one on the back and one on top, but. Unless they were like together and like tumbling, like I don't Have know. Have you ever seen those spacesuits yeah. that are designed for people to fuck in no gravity or low gravity situations? No, they're called the. It's the two suit, the number two and S U I T afterward. I'm sure you fucking dummies are gonna go look it up now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, basically, there's like hook pile, like Velcro, and you put your suits together, and then you're together inside of the thing. Really? But I would think that it would be better if you were like the woman's open up from the back. Yeah, you know what maybe. I mean. Yeah, because it would be. Like, 
It'd that, be hard from you mean you mean front to front together in a suit. Yeah, yeah that'd be hard. It'd yeah, be it'd have to be from the that. back. But even the back is kind of like I'm trying to think. She'll have the angle <laughs> in a weird suit. I don't know. That's strange. Sure. You know what I mean? I've no, seen I, somebody come in zero gravity. It's just it's weird, man. Really? Yeah. It looks. It's just like uh, mercury. You know? Yeah. Just kind of floating in the air, and you're like, it was right, uh, was it your grandfather? Uh, it was my great grandfather <laughs> actually. So. He was 96 years old, and that was his dying wish. Still firing out loads at 96. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Proud. right into space. Proud of him. Let me get one last load into zero gravity. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's going to be beautiful. Like. He spent all of Ross's inheritance money on that. Yeah, yeah I, not, I had zero inheritance because he mean, spent all of that on at, that on that Russian but, spaceship. I mean, honestly, worth it. <laughs> that's that's one of those ones where, like, if your if your parents gamble all your fucking money away or whatever, that's one thing. But if he spent it. Jacking off in space, like what could you even say to that? Nothing. It's like, thanks, Grandpa. Yeah, thanks, Gramps. I, I mean, mean, I mean, that's what you wanted to do. <clears throat> I, this technically, it's his money. So, uh, the Hunter S. Thompson thing, Johnny Depp paid for. So, what's that? The getting his uh, ashes, ashes blown out yeah. of a cannon. <clears throat> uh, so, y- you always have that to fall back on. If you have a rich benefactor, you can literally do whatever you want. I, I've, sure. I've been thinking about some new ways to deal with my body, other than just throwing it in the trash. Okay. You mean when you die? Yeah. Would you be ever? Would you ever want to be um, made into like a tree? No, fuck that. <laughs> I don't give a shit about trees. Some people are like really big in that. They want to be into trees. Trees can suck my dick. Here's what I want to do. What do you want to do? Well, I've got I've I've went through a number of these on the show over the years, but uh, one is getting fired out of a cannon into a brick wall, and then have an but you're all- alive. Wait, yeah, you're alive. Though. Yes. This, oh, I thought you were talking about like once you're no, dead, no, no. what's going to happen? Is, there's a number of options. Let me get through them. So, so this is you dying. <laughs> Yeah, but if, if I had like a terminal disease or I was a million years old or something. So okay. an artist turns the splatter pa- pattern into a print and sells it and uses the money to fucking like destroy all of my friends oh somehow. My <laughs> yep. Um, that sounds like something Jared would do, I feel like. No, actually, his idea for me was we have a birthday party for me, oh, but it's a surprise party. This. And I yeah. walk into it and it's like, surprise. And, and I'm like, yourself? oh, good. Everybody's here. Boom. Yeah. I remember you telling me that one. I was um, like, that's fucked off, up. Yeah. yeah. Another one is, whatever happens, whatever way I die, just throw my body in the trash. Yeah, just throw it right dead in the trash body is basically garbage. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but the one I've been thinking about lately is if what if I mean your bo- body is largely carbon, so what if I could get it pressed into some kind of weapon, like a knife or something? That would be uh, cool. <clears throat> and just stab. I people. would use you as a knife. Yeah, and stab the fuck out of people. I wouldn't stab people, but I would just be like, hey, so guys, this is Dan, and we're going to do a firecraft with Dan today. And <laughs> no. Sure. Here's what I want to happen. I want- I'll cut all my meat with you, Dan. I'm going to get my body turned into a knife, and then I want you to go on a murder spree. In London? Anywhere. London specifically. London, London is fine. Dan. Guys, so yeah. <laughs> just yeah. make sure that before you get caught, you kill yourself with my knife, and then when you turn your body into a knife, and then the next guy picks it up. Oh. And we keep doing that over and over until they're all gone. This is like a horror film. Yeah. I don't know who they like are necessarily, but whomever we the decide government. they are. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not stabbing the government. Oh. It's too many people. I'm just curious how your body would be turned into a knife, though. Pre- I mean, they can turn Bone? into a diamond. They can turn your ashes into a diamond, now. You can do anything. I was watching wow. 60 Minutes last night, and they had um, uh, one of those fucking Harvard scientists on, and he is working on like de aging shit. Yeah, and <clears throat> it's all gonna be here, and like they're uh, it, de-aging it, in what sense? Like uh, making yourself younger, like the fountain of youth, essentially. And they've okay. got injections, and they're <laughs> testing it on mice right now. And so when they sat down with them, they were like, "This exists," and they were like, "Oh yeah," but it, it, it exists now. Like younger looking, <laughs> or mice. your body? No, your, like, your body literally actually, younger. Like Benjamin Button. Yes. Making your body younger. Yeah, now. because what um, the fuck? so they the said, thing that makes you age is cellular degeneration. If you could reverse that process and reverse the, the effects of radiation on your body, you could become younger. Yeah. And they have so many. Uh, and it was t- they were talking about pigs as well, where they're taking pig, pig organs, uh-huh. and then putting them inside human bodies because they were like, "Look, it's virtually the same thing." So they were like, "You could use hearts, you could use all the skin," a- and they went through a- like a million ears and noses have been uh, grown on pigs. Yeah. Cartilage based stuff has already been grown on pigs and transplanted onto human bodies. So what That's they said was, because no you could yeah. save, yeah, you could save a ton of lives. And what they what, what they were asking him was, they were like why isn't this sped up or whatever? And they were like, well, look, you've got two years of, of clinical trials Mm -hmm. and then the government's got to fucking pass all this shit. And he goes, so you're looking, you know, two to three for the first trials. And then 
uh, after that another 10 years for the government to pass it. So he's like, wow. it'll all be here, but it's going to be in like 14 years. Uh -huh. uh, and the guy that was ahead, the head of it was using um, his own cells. Mm -hmm. So all of this shit, like when they were interviewing all these, these kids from Harvard who were working on this, they were like, yeah, it's just, I think the guy's name might have been Dan too. They were like, yeah, we just got a bunch of Dave or Dan or whatever it was. <laughs> There's a bunch of Dave everywhere and that's all we're working on is, is him. And they were like, they were asking him why, and he goes, well, you know, might as well be me because you can't really test other humans for this shit and blah, blah, uh -huh. blah. And he goes, but it is all here. And he's like, look, these mice are young as shit. And, you know, How but old all the cool before? stuff, all the cool stuff isn't going to get here until we don't need it anymore. Sure. Like, well, 14 years. I mean, if you get here in 14 years, David shit, Sinclair, does that sound familiar? Yes. Give it to me. Correct. Um, so wow, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, how old are you? That today? is crazy. Thirty-three. Now you'll you'll be too old for that. Like, what's what's the age limit? Uh, it's not that, but for a woman, like you don't really want to test that. <laughs> oh, after my twenty-seven, Lord. you're no. kind of just done. You know. Um, Listen, I feel like I've gotten better with the age. No, 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 you have. I'm totally fucking. <laughs> I say this to my wife. Believe me, if you've seen the pictures of me when I was younger, no, okay. the company. I've gotten better with age. The company is called Elysium, and it was co-founded with an MIT scientist. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the molecule is called nicotinamide riboside. That's like nicotine with A-M-I-D-E on the end of, end of it, and then riboside, R-I-B-O-S-I-D, if you want to look it up. Yeah, huh. you know, the, uh, <laughs> the, the weird thing about it was is they were asking him, like, why he does what he does and, and everything else. And he had a kind of similar story to Dan where he had narcolepsy. Uh -huh. And so, like, it affected you know, who he was as a person and yeah. he was trying to stop it. And then finally he accepted it and tried to use it towards his advantage. It reminded me of you with uh, your fucking shit where you use it to your advantage in things and you figure out a way to beat it. Um, but he was saying when he fucking <laughs> nods off and becomes narcoleptic, yeah. he's like, that's when I have some of the best thoughts. Wow. And everybody around him has, has gotten used to it and they know what it is. Uh -huh. So I was like, man, I just want to see this motherfucker nod off on camera. Yeah. And that's what happened. Really? So they were in a class, and he was like, oh, yeah, I'll sleep standing up in a chair, like wherever He does it not is. fall over at all. No. That's so weird and that you would lose where your state was. of balance. Yeah. So how long is he out for? Uh, it, it looks like 20 to 30 seconds. Not a long time, you know? I'm wondering how like, long cool. it feels for him, though. You I don't know, know what I mean? Isn't that weird? Yeah, because I just saw this girl that was on TikTok the other day, and she was videotaping when she would pass out. Like, she doesn't fall asleep. She's not narcoleptic, but apparently she just has, she just passes out. God damn What'd it. What'd you do? That's how it goes. Oh, oh no, that's uh, Hacksaw Jim, Hacksaw, Jim Duggan. Oh, way Hacksaw to Hacksaw Jim go. Duggan just fell off, the, off of Dan's desk. Good job, We Bucko. got a Black Hawk down there. <laughs> oh, Grab him. Little fun fact, by the way, that's uh, Dan's cousin. It's Hacksaw Jim He's Duggan. He's married Is to my it? cousin, yeah. Yeah. We oh, gotta get him on the show. That's, yeah. that's still cousins, dude. You're we'll get him cousins. on there. Yeah, we banged once. That's uh, oh, have you? that's cute. We're from South Carolina. Yeah, we do that stuff down there. Yeah, that's all real. That's normal now. He there. was at a comic con signing two by fours that I was at. Why two by fours? That's, that was the thing. Oh. So he used to take a two by four into the ring and beat the shit out of people with it. Oh, okay, there we go. See a little yeah. two by four in his hand. Yep. Yeah. It's a nice thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you watch wrestling as a kid, Tiffany? No, I did not. Really? I wasn't allowed to. That's right. You weren't allowed to do anything. I wasn't allowed to do anything. <laughs> Super Christian. WWE? No, we couldn't. All this world is so new to you. Isn't it's it? so new. No, it's been around for a bit, but yeah, I wasn't allowed to watch <laughs> no, I mean, it. You're like Brendan you. Fraser yeah, in that dumbass movie. Uh, which one? The one where he He's was made a bunch. trapped underground for the mo majority. Encino Man? Nope. No. Which technically, yes, but no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch many movie what was the name of that him movie? in anyway because I didn't like him as an actor that much. You know that he got his fucking gooch. Gooch slapped by a dude, and uh, he talks about it in this article that it really fucked with him. And I was like, Really? Somebody uh, jammed their hands in the back of his pants and uh, <laughs> rubbed his taint. That's it, his taint is what he said. You know what? He probably is um, embarrassed by it because he probably really enjoyed it and he didn't want to admit it. Being taint tickled by a stranger is a very bold power move. That's a very bold power move. He probably yeah. felt very, again, he probably felt very uh, happy about it, but then also violated it at the same time. Well, look, you get your that, that taint. <laughs> You get a full middle finger on your taint like that by another man. That's got to be a weird sitch, man. You know? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of aging, he did not age well. Brendan Fraser? No. Did not age well at all. It's tough, though, man, because you don't know. You don't True. know what's going to happen. But or doesn't he have, like, a ton of money? Shouldn't out. he be able to? It, he does, but the thing is, like, for balding, you can't really <laughs> stop that. 
No, but you know what they have for guys now? <clears throat> is they do the, where, like, if you're, especially if you're balling up top, they'll completely, like, cut a circle of your hair out. Bozo ring, yeah. Yep, and they'll uh, shave your head and yeah. then put the glue on and put on, like, I don't know, like, basically glue on a wig. So, if you want to see the best examples of this, of how, doesn't matter how rich you are, you can't stop it, yeah. LeBron James is a perfect example. Yeah, you but know? he's black guy. It's different. Uh, great, and I'll take a white guy on that, that example, too. Uh, but the, some, but the some bachelor, guys look The, the guy in The Bachelor. There was a guy that should have won, and I watched the shit with Jesse, right? Cause I'm Wait, stuck. when? Just last? Uh, two, two bachelors ago. He should have won, and What's tall guy name? Blake. Tall guy. Um, his name was Blake? I think Blake was his name, yeah. Anyways, so it's a huge scar in the back of your head, and they go all the way around, and they take it. What is it? Skin graphing? I have no idea. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a graph is what they take, and... Um, but you have this huge scar. The problem is you have to grow out your hair after that. Yeah, so it grows around the scar. Right, well, LeBron James didn't. And so it's just, you have this, he has this monster scar in the back of his head. And you're like, what the fuck is that from? And everybody was trying to figure it out forever. And it was just like, it's Bosley, motherfucker. That's what he has. And that's what happened to the guy on The <clears throat> Bachelor as well. He was a younger dude. Um, Are you talking about this guy? Yeah. He has, he has hair implants? Yes. Though? So go. I can kind of see that. He was on Bachelor in Paradise. Yes. So on Bachelor in Paradise, he had, if you, when it started, he had a gigantic scar on the back of his head. And Jesse was the one. She was a hairdresser. Yeah. She was the one who pointed it out. She goes, yeah, it's Bosley. And I was like, what? And I was like, that's the same scar Le LeBron James has. She goes, yeah, it's the same fucking thing, dude. So um, he gets like, what? <clears throat> is it hair implants or something or what? Yeah. yeah so they, they shave all the hair. Off your taint and asshole. Yeah. No, no they do not. No, no. We're, we're, it's oh, got to come from no somewhere. It's, it's like cells. It's like uh, hair follicles. And so they'll, they'll take it out of there and then replant it in the front of your head. I don't think any of that shit is necessary Plugs. anymore, though. Like Bosley wow. is antiquated at this point. You can there's, you there's, plug up. There are serum, serums now that actually work. Like back in the day, that was snake oil. But uh, what's his name? Uh, Dia, not him. Hold on. One of the comedians. Um Stand by. Uh, the best job ever. There's, there's two really good plug jobs. Oh, uh, what's his? <laughs> Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper's plugs? plug guy is. No way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Yes. B oh. Coops. He's so attractive, too. John Travolta has terrible hair, by the way. He does well, lace. He was wearing a toupee. He does oh, a, was he? Yeah, he went, he went lace front wig because he had the bozo ring, so you can do lace front and just yep. tie it into this shit right here. Oh, because his wiggers. looks fake as shit. Correct. So he shaved his head finally, yeah. by the way. So yeah, I, I see it. He's in this bald, one. and here's the weird thing. But that's Travolta the thing. looks great, even though yes. he's gay. Um, Is he? Oh yeah, like oh, he's, no he's the gayest of the gay. But um, he uh, <laughs> he looks great with it bald. All of those yes. years. He should have had it bald. Yes. Well, that's the thing with guys that you guys have the luxury of doing is if you guys are losing your hair, you guys can go bald. Well, you could do the yeah. same thing. You just have to wear pretend you have cancer time, for though. years. It depends no, on what your wigs. what your hair looks like underneath. You mean your head looks like underneath? I'm sorry, yes, what your head looks yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> <No, you're laughs> like you have more hair underneath <laughs> there. <laughs> Andrew Schultz. Yeah, the shape of your head. You yeah. Is that what you mean? Yes. Yeah, I can see that. that you, you ever uh, seen you... people with too much skin on the back of their head? It just kind of folds up like a... Oh, yeah, they look like a like dog. Like a Sharpay. Yep, like one of those dogs. Or your brain. You ever see the people where they shave their head and you can see their brains? Yes, like, yes. Yes. That's creepy. I know. Okay, yeah. So if you can see your own brain, you see, but then you're stuck, man. I've seen all those dudes in the military. Oh, I, everyone's got yeah, their head right? shaped when they first came in. That was a dumb so comment. So you see by all me? the brain. Yeah. Guy. yeah. Oh, yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. So Do LeBron you, doesn't look bad either. He just needs to shave it all because it honestly looks pretty it bad. Does, it makes zero sense why he did not <laughs> shave his saying. head years ago. I yeah. don't understand. Michael started shaving his head when he was like 26 years yes. old. Michael no Jordan. reason for that. No yeah. reason whatsoever. Andrew Schultz, by the way, the yeah. comedian, mm -hmm. fucking one of the funniest dudes out there right now, does the best crowd work maybe that I've ever seen, to be honest. But he, he they have a podcast. He and uh, what's his name? Charlemagne the God, that comedian. It's oh, called yeah. it's called The Brilliant Idiots. It's super fucking funny. If you haven't listened to their is podcast it really? before, yeah, it's really funny. I fucking hate Charlemagne the God. He's annoying. Is that the But Andrew Schultz is fucking funny as shit. Andrew Schultz is really funny. He, uh, at any rate, <clears throat> they were talking about uh, hair plugs or whatever the fuck the other day and Andrew mm -hmm. Schultz was like yeah I've been putting the cream or whatever the fuck it is on my hair since I was like in my early 20s yeah mm -hmm. I, the, the most and it's, he said like he started developing a bald spot and now if you look at his hair it's thick as fuck yeah so if whatever he, he's using is working if you want to listen to if you're a dude out there and want to listen to one uh, Dax Shepard uh, on his podcast did an episode with Ashton Kutcher and they went into great detail about getting injections did Ashton Kutcher get injections both both him and Dak Shepard about getting injections up here to inject hair follicles in and no and keep doing way. It. Yeah, yeah. 
because you're well, paranoid about losing your hair. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, it's science, man. If there's science available to make us look, feel, and maybe even be younger, then I'm going to fucking use it. Listen, yeah. if there was a shot that I could take that would make my hair fuller and thicker, I'd take it. Yeah, yeah I think you can. All day long. So Roman, one of our sponsors, Roman, they're, they're most known for their erectile dysfunction drugs, uh-huh. but they have everything. They have like... A hair, uh, they've got a hair one. They have hair stuff. Yeah. I think they have shit for STDs too. I, I don't think we've ever fucking looked into it. We have, well, we only do their boner pills. Yeah. So. <laughs> this is the most important ones. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Ragers. Yeah. But I'm curious how their hair ones would be though. If they would work. I mean, it's, it's how their hair pills would work. Like, cause you hear like yeah. differences of opinions <laughs> on different hair products and, and pills. What? So you know? one of my best friends was going bald, and he started using those shampoos. Yes. Forever, I'm curious like, how that works. I've heard like, the shampoos don't work. They don't. And, and and he was just like, yo, man, I feel like I'm. He's like, does it look better? And I was like, no, no, it doesn't. I wonder I if Rogaine, because I heard, I've seen Rogaine f- works for does sure, it? yeah. Because they have women's Rogaine, and I've read some reviews that some women use it, and they literally are losing their hair from it, and then other women use it, and they're fine. But it's it's the upkeep, like you have to keep doing yeah. it. For and the rest ultimately, of your life. it yeah. also depends on. So people think, and Dr. Frank, uh, as a buddy of ours, talked about this when he was on the show. People think, well, if I have erectile dysfunction, I'll just get uh, Cialis or I'll just get Viagra. Yeah. That might not be your fucking problem. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it may work to some degree, but you may be having erectile dysfunction for some completely different reason. Yeah. Right? Some, physio- sure. some other physiological reason. This woman may, even if she kept up with the treatment, maybe her hair was falling out for some other reason. Maybe she has too much of some vitamin in her body or not enough of it. Yeah. And that's the problem and not some, some drug is not going to fix it. Everybody's a little bit different. And people are lazy. It's like, oh, that'll work for me. Yeah. No. That's not how it works. Go find out what's actually wrong with you. Go see Dr. But Frank. But that's so hard. Yeah, it is. It is. It's people hard. don't want to do it. Wait, but here's the other thing. And it, not only is it hard, but it's time consuming and it's costly. Yeah, and people, and you, you and, don't have the and money people are for lazy. That. Let's be real. Yeah. I mean, if there was a quick fix pill where it was just like, hey, man, let's fucking get rid of this. <laughs> yeah. I'm down, man. I, I would I'm, think I'm one of those people where it's like pills. Great. What what, what is it? What's it going to fix? Great. I'll I'll do that. Yeah, but at the same time, like if I were a dude and I had a hard time getting up, and I had to keep taking pills to for get a boner. It, yeah, to get a boner. Yeah. I would think to myself, they, maybe there is an underlying issue that I probably there's should look always at. an underlying issue. Like you're, if your body is functioning properly, that 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 won't be an Correct. issue. I knew a guy who's in amazing shape. I'm not going to give him too much detail about him because. Yeah, but he couldn't get up. Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, it's, it's you. But it was a like, lot of guys that are in super good shape have too much testosterone, yeah. and their body stops producing the also, right amount of other stuff. Or I think it was that, but I also think he was abusing <clears throat> opiates. So I don't know if that like was something I too. I don't know if that would make them. But I just know that like he would like he had a problem constantly, like trying to get coke? hard. Did he do a lot of coke? I don't know. Like I don't know. <laughs> I mean. He shouldn't be because he was in a, you know, in the, a branch wow. oh, okay. in the military. But, like, you know, just stuff like that where I was just a little bit surprised. Like, I mean, half the time I was like, was it me? Is it me? Yeah. And he'd be like, no, 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 it's definitely not. And the poor dude. Were you guys could never dating? No. Just fucking? Yeah. Like, oh, fuck okay. buddies. But it was just one of the, like, well, tried. But yeah. it was one of those things, you know. What was his, what, what did he say afterwards? I'm always curious what that conversation is like with a girl. Well, I would do enough stuff to, like, get it kind of hard enough yeah but for, for me like i thought i was personally like i was like okay i'm doing something wrong i've never had this issue in my life because normally i just kiss dudes sure and they're hard and we're good so to me i was kind of like wondering but then his buddies were telling me that you know i guess he like abused alcohol or something before and so I, I think he was i don't know if they were he was taking too many opiates and that's why like he just couldn't get hard mm. or if it was he was taking stuff because he was he was trying to go back to a specific job again, you know. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And all this other stuff. So maybe I'm, wasn't taking opiates anymore. I don't know, but I'll. But yeah, I felt bad for him. You know, I was like, that's a bad problem to have. <laughs> like you're yeah. young, and you're very attractive, and you're in really great shape, and man, yeah, and it's, just, it's just flaccid. Yeah, it's just Lake Flaccid. Mm-hmm. Man, Lake Flaccid. Yeah. yeah, that's what we're gonna call. Well, him a lot of people on. who are on Miracle ge- Nice. A yeah. lot of people who are on gear don't take the other stuff that you have to take. Like, you can't just take fucking steroids all the time. You have to take other shit. You mean to level it out? To rebalance, like, to start making estrogen again, the right amount of it, yeah. or to block it from... Because if you like, if you crank your fucking testosterone up to 1,000 or 1,100, like some of these assholes do, estrogen's like, oh, shit, I got to keep up. Right. So you start making that, and then you come off a cycle, and your body goes back down to six or 700 or 800, and but your estrogen is still pumping out at a level commensurate with 
a thousand or eleven hundred, right? Yeah. So it's like, then you get fucked over, and then none of your shit works. You start going tits. All this stuff happens. Yeah. It's bad news for everybody. Yeah. So if dudes take, I don't know how it works with dudes and, uh, and chicks, but if guys take too much testosterone, is it a testosterone or H? Was it HGH? That they start getting boobs, right? <laughs> And well, like, they get they get tits from taking too much testosterone and not taking an estrogen blocker for a period of time afterwards. Okay. Typically. And so what happens? So I've seen girls who've taken steroids before who get like very mainly features and deeper voices. Oh yeah. And oh yeah. Like ha- more hair on their bodies. Yep. And and it, at first, like from a distance, you look at this person you're like this person can gain muscle super quick. Like that's awesome. But then you notice like later on, you're like, wait, there's these other changes that are happening yep. too. She's got a dick now. I've heard the clit gets bigger. It does. <coughs> it uh, becomes big. It I becomes had a buddy like a who apparently dated a chick who did a lot of steroids or something. And mm-hmm. he, I don't know. He was drunk one night. He showed me a picture of her clit. And I was like, hello. Wow. It was. Big, it, looked like, huh? it looked like a micro penis. Kind of. Yeah. That's I was, tough. It was tough. I've, I was never, like, I've never seen that, but it makes rough. sense. I mean, similar. I'm saying not as big, but yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I was. I was like, man. But I guess it was never like that before. It was just it progressed because of taking too much stuff. No, of course, of course. But if you've got a big clit at home, you should lay that thing down on a ghost bed from <laughs> ghostbed.com <laughs> yes, forward sure. slash drinking bros. Man, sometimes we just get talking and I, we forget about sponsors. No. The, uh, we shouldn't yeah. forget about ghost bed, though. No. It's, it's like forgetting about Dre. You don't do it. You don't do it. Eminem will get super mad if you do that. 36 month. No interest pays you go program. And no one on the interwebs is offering that. If you're uh, a member of the military or a first responder, you get 15% off forever. That's awesome. Oh, forever. Perfect. Forever on everything in the store. Um, and they got new pillows, by the way. Uh, yeah, I those. saw those Kurtz. Uh, just got some of those Kurtz. Did summers. he really? Yep. He doesn't deserve pillows <clears throat> like that. No, his dog's already. He's got a cute little French bulldog, and it's already claimed the pillow, so. I guess it worked out in the end. Take back your life, <laughs> Kurt. Jesus Christ. It's a way I'm it playing him in a fantasy football playoffs right now. I think he's got the uh, the Ghost Lux coming today. Ooh. Yeah, and the base. Man, that, that thing's awesome. Yep. That adjustable base. So everybody was talking about the yeah. uh, Black Friday sales for the adjustable bases. They were half off. They are again here, I believe, now. now. Shit, it is now. Um, and the holiday sale is fucking ridiculous they're having. But it ends at midnight on uh, Christmas. So get your fucking loved one um, a mattress to sleep on, adjustable bases, pillows. Uh, that adjustable base has got USB ports, flashlights, the whole shit. That's so awesome. New pillows, covers, everything. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. <coughs> get yourself a mattress. That's a fucking life changer, by the way. It says they give you uh, 101 nights to test the bed out. They do. And then you That's send legit. It back. Yeah, yeah, you can bang I'm talking about. 600 times in 101 nights. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And then send it That's back. That's a lot of banging. Yeah. Can you imagine you send it back with all your cum on it? Oh, my oh, Lord. Man. Uh, man, the bed wasn't for me. Just 25 year warranty, too. Yeah. If, you, if you send it back and just like duct taped a fucking black light to it, like, hey, you may want to use this. Yeah. Because there's no way, like, there's no way the government would allow them to resell a bed. No, probably those not. things just get thrown away. It's like reselling toilet paper, or they, they give them to. I'm sure. Uh, ho- yeah, they probably just give them to people. one of their oh, homeless people, or just say, "Hey, it's employee discount. Here you go." Ooh, flip it over. <laughs> can you imagine? Might flip it over there. Yeah. No, they, I don't think they can do that because all these. Well, I don't know if it's governed under the same rules, but all those companies get fucked over for trying to give uh, leftover food to homeless people. Have you ever seen that? Show? Oh yeah, because they get sick. Panera did. Sick. Yeah, yeah. We that did. Happened in L.A. When I worked at Panera Bread. There was a. Con- there Pan- were these. Uh, you worked at Panera. Yeah, I worked. Yeah, it was in. The, it was in St. Louis, so it was called St. Louis Bread Company. But yeah. What's we- the uh, ins and outs of that place? I was. Um, I was going to hit the drive-through after work tonight. No, it's good. Salad. All right. No, I will no still shit eat there. Going on behind the scenes. No, right. absolutely not. They're very, very clean. Because I worked at Papa John's in high school, and I will not eat there. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me. I don't even like Papa John's though that much. <laughs> what do you guys like pizza wise? Uh, I like Domino's. I grew up on pizza. Everybody I like saying, Domino's crust. Everybody is saying Domino's has become good again. It has. Yeah, it has crust. become good I'm not again. comfortable with The crust, crust is fucking pimp, man. Yeah. Is it, do they have cheese in the crust? No, that's Pizza Hut. Mm-mm. So Pizza Hut's putting cheese in the crust. See, the, but the cheese in the crust does not taste natural to <laughs> no, me. It doesn't me taste, it tastes fake. I just want more calories. I don't give a shit about what it tastes like. You know what I want to try from Pizza Hut is they have a cheese it pizza. Have you seen that? Yeah, that I looks, fucking love Cheez-Its. That looks, I do too, and I feel like that would ruin <laughs> Cheez-Its forever. I feel like it would, I, I don't care. I want to try it. 
I'm down. What is it? The crust is made out of cheese. It's like it's no, like the whole goddamn a whole thing. Pizza is like a fucking cheese that like a pizza and a cheese it or something. Oof. And you cut inside of it, and there's a box of cheese it's inside. I am down. No, dude. I wish that'd yeah. be cool. They filled the box of cheese it up with pizza sauce. Big cheese it fan. Um, Little Caesars <laughs> uh, pretzel pizza is good. Oh, I can I can butt fuck a little Caesars, dude. That is really good because it has pretzel crust yep. and it has uh, the nacho sauce, dipping sauce. Yeah, no, it has like this nacho cheese as the cheese on it, though. Inside of it? Yeah, not inside of it, but like as the cheese sauce Ooh. or like as the sauce. <laughs> it's just nacho cheese with um, pepperoni. It's good. Man, it's very fat boy fall. That yeah, is, uh, a that lot of preservatives. <laughs> I could go through th- that crazy bread. Oh, yeah. Just give me nine sacks, Holmes, to go. Listen, pizza is my favorite. Yeah. I love it. Yo, Holmes to Bel Air. Pop some of that. that. I know. Well, that's what I say. (laughs) So Jesse and I can get drunk off the champs. Yeah. (laughs) Speaking of Bel Air. (laughs) That's another sponsor today, Luke Bel Air. (laughs) That was a great segue. Yo, Holmes to Bel Air. Uh, Luke Bel Air, L U C B E L A I R E dot com forward slash drinking bros. Look, man. This is this is it right here. I said Jesse told me you guys served it this weekend for the Luke Belair, and everyone they was got, loving it. So when we when we hit number one on Spotify a couple weeks ago, they sent us um, congratulations bottles with Drinking Bros logos on them. I did not know you could do that. That's awesome. It's fucking amazing. I'm gonna hold up the camera right here. Um, maybe that'll get in. I'll stretch as far as I can with my little arms. It's it's the best champagne and best rosé in the biz, and it's the holiday season. Every one of these fucking parties we go to, you gotta you gotta show up with a bottle at somebody's house. Yeah, don't be a dickhead. It, yeah, be polite. Don't be a dickhead. <laughs> you get thirty percent off there um, at oh, wow. lukebelair dot com forward slash drinking bros <laughs> and uh, oh, bango. It gets shipped right to your fucking house. It's 26 bucks a bottle. That's it. That's it's also a man law violation to walk into a place with booze and then leave with it. Like, you can take one for the road, but you can't take the whole fucking shit out of there. Bottle, yeah. By yeah, the yeah, way. Yeah. You don't take the bottle. That's why you take Wait, you're you saying leave if it. you bring a handle of something, you can't bring it back Correct. with you? No, that handle belongs to the house now. Correct. What? Yeah. I live in that state as well. Yep. Yeah. That's that's a fucking oh, wow. rule. I had no idea. So really, Tiff? No. Yeah. Are you taking your shit home? No, but you like fucking dirt. I'm bag. sure I wouldn't. I'm sure I did in college. I'm sure if I went anywhere in college and brought booze, I was definitely bringing it back to my room and drinking it with only me. Only time it's that's appropriate. You're poor is if in the house. Host says, "Hey, I'm not going to drink this." Well, this yeah. Home. But the thing is, it was bring your <coughs> like. So it wasn't like a whole bar of things. It was bring your own beer. No, so you brought your own. That was your shit. That you is drink the it. Rent, I'm bringing it back with that me. That is the rent you pay for letting the le, from them letting you use. What if it was a shitty party? Correct. Well. Tiff, you I don't know, know what, what to tell you. Do you take your white claws home? No. You had to pause and think about that. Like if no, I, I, don't, if I, I brought I a case, don't bring white claws to a party. If I brought I a case of white claws over to your house to party, and there were like half of them were left at the end of the night. If I'm, you brought them, I wouldn't care. I know you wouldn't care because you're a fucking dirtbag. This is a fucking rule <laughs> yeah. that people need to follow. God damn it. Yep. So I that's why you bring okay, so two listen, bottles. The last party that we went to, I'll this, tell you this: the last party that we went to was for think, well Thanksgiving, and I brought like. Um, a handle of vodka, two things of wine. My husband brought his Jameson, and we like a three things of soda, and we left uh-huh. it all there. Yeah, that's what you and should do. And we barely drank any do. of it. That's, that's what you should do. So yeah. here's my that's s- why you get two bottles. That's normal yes. though. I'm not gonna fucking take I always, it out of the. I always bring cooler. two bottles of wine. One for myself. One for myself because if nobody else drinks it, then I'm like, all right, because I I don't buy wine for other people that I don't personally like. You sure? And I'm a wine guy. I have fucking like eighty bottles at my goddamn house. Yeah. So, uh, I bring two bottles. I, usually the same thing. So it's like, all right, you didn't drink the first one. I'm I'm taking the second one. Exactly. That's one. You get one for the road. But that's, that's you it. taking it now. Yeah. That's you. No, you get, get one for the road. road. For the I road. just said you. You, you get a, Yeah, you get a cup for the, the I road. I say you. He did. Road. Yeah, exactly. You're going against on your. So with this the other night, so I brought, I brought some Luke Belair over to a, a holiday party the other night, right? Yeah. Um, I brought same thing as Dan. I, I, we, you and I do the exact same thing. I bring two bottles. Yeah, always one for me. One for everybody else, right? Because mm-hmm. I like to drink my own shit, and I want to rely on everybody sure, else's yeah. shit. Because I don't like a lot of people's picks in this life, right? I don't either. Usually, if you're a, an uncool white guy, you know there'll be some fucking pale ale Sierra Nevada. Hey, you want my IPAs? It, 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 whatever, whatever it is, right? <laughs> yeah. Like a craft beer is great. I'll I'll indulge in that all the time. Like uh-huh. that's your own personal choice. Maybe I haven't had it. I don't know your brewery. Sure. Fantastic. Nice little Peter Brady in my voice there. Um, with this, I brought over two bottles of Luke Blair. I had one, mm-hmm. and then the other one went untouched, and I saw it there. 
And I was like, oh, oh no, it's my favorite. <laughs> Can I just take it in the back of your, your mind? And I'm like, you're too white trash. You can't do that. And then Jesse took it. No, she's okay. not. She won't no, do that's that the other rule. If, if they drink the entire first bottle, you have to leave the second one. You can't leave can't. them empty handed. Correct. Jeez, who came up with these rules and these where are they no. located? This yeah. is why we're doing this. So, so with this school sponsor, never taught me this. This is horseshit. Luke well, school Blair. also didn't com. teach you how to fucking balance a checkbook. They taught you how to fucking. That's true. They didn't teach me any life skills. What? That's for fucking sure. Yeah. <laughs> so go to LukeBelair.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get bottles. Dude. They're knocks it down to 26 bucks. These are the good ones that you're like, all right, sweet, man. You fucking mean a lot in this life and you're at my party. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, kind of fighting through it at the grocery store. Yeah. There's like two choices where you're like, eh, there's this and this you don't, other thing. I don't, you don't like want to buying be an- champagne and anything like that at the grocery store. No, like, you don't want to be an asshole. And honestly, I will buy the one that's in a fancy bottle. So like this, for example, if I saw this sit on the shelf, I'm buying it because I'm like, this looks expensive. Well, this, this looks is the good. most <laughs> This is the most popular the rosé in, in the country. So, yeah. Well, in the world, yeah, this one is. Yeah. So I'm a big fan. Um, who's, who do we got next up? Uh, let's see. We got Bespoke Post. I was going to say, are you going to die? Do we need a White Claw? Maybe. Bespoke Post. <laughs> oh, shit. Box of Awesome? Yeah. God damn it. I just got one yesterday. I haven't got mine yet. Boxofawesome.com forward slash Drinker Bros. What did you or get? There's a promo code Drinker Bros. It know. might be just Box of Awesome. What did you, what did you get? Um, I got a, a the fucking, what do you call those? Uh, martini glasses. Mm. <coughs> shit like that. What's Box of, what is this? It's like awesome. so. So is it like a? Um, <coughs> it's like a subscription service. Yeah. For it's a, it's like a box service, right? Okay. Like everything, like Bark Box or whatever the fuck, which we got kicked off of, because uh, of Michael Vick of all people. Anyways, uh, <laughs> whatever. Um, <coughs> it's dude shit. But box okay. of awesome. So you get like some kind of dude shit every month. So okay. I've seen those boxes before. I'm trying to think what the chick ones you are called. You ladies have Birch Box? Yeah, I Birch say, Box. Is it Birch Box yeah. and like all these other ones <coughs> that you see? Yeah, will it come with like 15, 20 things yeah. or something in it? Or my sister gets one that has like a ton of makeup. Okay. I'm going to see what their new fucking shit is here on Box of Awesome. Um, so this is only for best. guys only? This might be a good subscription to get for my husband then, it's huh? It's the best one. Oh, yeah, it's dope. So this here's some the, of the stuff they have. Because that would be a good um, <clears throat> Christmas gift. Are they got an axe now? Come on, They've dude. got like a fucking cigar, a little cigar humidor. Uh, they've got these fucking whiskey glasses with a decanter. They've got knives. That's what all, I got. All sorts of fucking shit. I mean, it's ridiculous. They have like a cheese knife with fucking uh, oh, champagne flutes. Like they've got all kinds of stuff. Um, oh, this so looks nice. I have that garment bag. I've got the uh, the whiskey decanter with the glasses. That's what I got. Um, and I got. I have the dop kit from them. Fuck, I have a lot of shit from them, dude. And I have that cast iron skillet. That oh, cast iron yeah. skillet is the jam, dude. That is the only you thing that Jesse that. cooks on is that cast iron skillet. Oh, yeah. that's. I mean, it's good. You use it for everything. Yeah, everything. Everything across the board. And it keeps the, the nice flavor. They yeah. have stuff for her on here, too. They have after hours. I don't know what that is, but that looks fun. What's oh, that? they have a bath thing. for. They have a chick one on here, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they have a Do wine really? and cheese. What the fuck? <clears throat> that's right up my alley. Where is this at? Yeah, uh, if you just go to chicks. bespokepost.com yeah, and scroll they down. Yeah, they have yeah. stockings. There's stuffers. a bunch of other stuff down here. That's Box awesome. of awesome.com. <laughs> promo. So it's a promo code, Drinker Bros. Uh, 20% off. The box is like 45 bucks. So like I'm on a subscription with this shit, right? It's just 45 bucks. But I get the dopest shit once a month. It's like my own personal Christmas. So yeah. when I'm having a shitty day and it's just sitting on my porch. That's I'm like, nice. ah, here we go. I just got one yesterday. Um, I, I love boxofawesome.com. Again, promo code Drinker Bros, 20% off. <laughs> Subscribe to this shit. It literally, every month is a new box full of like the dopest headphones. I get everything in there, man. It's awesome. Uh, good for Box of Awesome. They're just fucking constantly doing it, dude. Yeah, they've got, they keep adding new cool shit, too. Yeah, boxofawesome.com, <laughs> promo code Drinker Bros, 20% off. Last but not least, we got stance.com. This is, D'Anthony wears, wears these socks every single day. Those? Ooh. These are my Honestly. Atlanta Braves socks. They're like from the, the 1970s. Braves, yeah, yeah I love these socks. Smell like shit. No, they don't. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. My entire body smells amazing all the time. Um, oh, I don't know. Yeah, these are super high quality socks, by the way. Those are nice. And they have all kinds of cool shit, too. Uh, they've got can NBA, your, can they've you got the license for MLB, on the NBA. Socks? Um, I don't know if they do custom stuff, but they have like all the the office oh, stuff. Oh, that's like, they awesome! Have, they have one that's Bob Vance refrigeration. Now we should get those. Does he know? 
I don't know if he knows. You should reach out to him. We just had him on the show, what, six months ago or something like that? Yeah, March, I think. <laughs> uh, so they own, funny, oh, they own the socks. license for Star Wars. They have the Grinch stuff, which is right up my alley, obviously. Um, let's see what else they have. He doesn't get paid for that, by the way. Fuck no, he doesn't. Um, it's great, though. They have all the Marvel stuff, Star Wars, fucking Major League Baseball, the NBA. They have a bunch of fucking different characters. Characters. Yeah. As some might say. Char actors. Char actors, yeah. Um, yeah, they got everything over there. <laughs> uh, S-T-A-N-C-E dot com. Is it a promo code, Drinking Bros? It's Stance dot com. I think it's forward slash Drinking Bros. Hang on. Forward slash Drinking Bros. Yeah, it's forward slash Drinking Bros. And it's uh, they've got all kinds it's of dope Bogo, shit. right? You buy one, get one free over there. Oh, they well, got you, boxer briefs and everything, too. Yeah, you buy any kind of stuff. Yep. And you get a fucking pair of socks for free, basically. So they got the... It's, it's called, called Bogo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure, yeah. Bogo! <laughs> Buy one, get one free over at stance.com forward slash drinking bros. Um, big fan of all their I shit. I like them. Yeah. They, got, they don't have the NFL yet, I don't think, but they've got baseball and basketball. It's coming all over your face. Ba- our NFL's hard to get, but they're coming soon from what I hear. Uh, NFL's real. All real over your face. They, they've also got Grateful Dead socks. Really? Yeah. Fuck Which yeah. Uh, Burt Koontz is a huge fan of the Grateful Dead. So is Evan, Evan Hafer. Is that real? I wouldn't, expe- I wouldn't expect either they're both, of them to be They're both dead huge fans. deadheads, actually. Really? Yes, big time. It's funny, man. I, w- I went to one of their last shows where Jerry <laughs> was still alive. And he fucking died like two months later. Dang. Yeah. Did you do it? What? Did you kill him? Yeah, I had to. Did you keep your ticket stuff? I get sell it. it? Yeah. No. I was I a kid. I that's worth money. I was oh. a kid, so I didn't really think about it. <laughs> yeah. And like, I didn't really understand like the importance of I think that band on, on society and sure. culture and shit. Until I was older and I was just like, oh, fuck. God damn. It's going to be really hard for me not to buy these Dwight Schrute socks. You can't. You have to do that. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. how the fuck am I not They're supposed to do that? They're going to be number two underneath your dog oh, I'm socks. I'm using the promo code, bro. Yeah. Don't worry about that. So I got to find a wait, second. Wait, wait, Go back up. I'll get the Grinch socks. You need to get those boxer briefs to have the um, string lights on this, it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I those. used my own promo code on uh, Kill Cliff two nights ago. Oh, they, we have all the new flavors are coming in soon. Yeah, no, I, we know. We talked about it. But, but dude, I used the. I bought a case of the grape. Uh, KillcliffCBD.com. The grapest of all time? Yes. Uh, promo code Drinking Bros. <laughs> I brought a case of it on there and used my own promo code two nights ago. I used my own promo code on all this shit. Yeah, I'm never going to stop. You can't stop me. This is America. I can do what I want. No, not at all. Well, you get good deals. That's the thing. 20 to 30% off on <coughs> things? Like, that's legit. Yeah. I know, man. So I'm going to get some Grinch socks, and my BOGO is going to be the Dwight Schrute socks. <laughs> Ooh. If, you were my, if we were good friends, which I think we are, then I went Dwight. Dwight. True True you want those yeah. too? Hashtag treat yourself. Yeah. Um, since you brought it up, Tiff, Tiffers, I want to huh? get into this with you. What is your go-to <laughs> drink then at a party? I bring one. Oh, uh, oh, if I'm bringing drink? Yeah. I Actually, I brought wine last time. So okay. I will typically bring two drinks. I'll bring Cabernet wine for myself. Okay. So Cab, some Cab. And then I will also bring Tito's. Uh-huh. I love Tito's. Yeah, Can't same. go wrong with that. And it depends on how I'm feeling that day. <laughs> if I'm feeling fine then i'll probably bring um like a cranberry sp- like ginger ale or cranberry sprite sure if not I, I bring red bull like i know it's i know so many people are gonna be like oh but like uppers and downers aren't good yeah, for yeah, you yeah. like it's what keeps me awake i do good on it yeah it works for me yeah because so. drinking a shit ton of booze is super good for you right it is i'm just saying but some people are so big into like oh but vodka <laughs> red bull is gonna make your heart explode i'm like i've been drinking that since i was underage i'm yeah. fucking fine i so. like i like those memes that are like uh, fucking vegan girls won't eat, or like new, like these new hipsters, like oh, I only eat this kind of fucking plant based diet, but they're snorting cocaine on weekends. Uh. Like, yeah, come on, man. Yeah, you can do both. You can't. You can't do both. Just not well. If you're if you're a vegan snorting coke, your shits are gonna be spraying. You need. <laughs> it's gonna be a buckshot. You need something. You need a binding agent. Listen, you can be a vegan Something. all you want and do all the drugs you want, but stop pushing your shit on me. That's yeah. my only thing. Like, it's the vegans who are like, oh, well, you shouldn't eat this and blah, 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 blah. Like, it's fine. It's totally fine for you to do it. Don't push it on me. Yeah. Hey, okay, I, I was wrong. They do have it. all the NFL teams as well. Ah, it just wasn't on the front page. Look yep. at you. Look at you. Dude, all you're of them. Wrong. Doing all that research on there. Yeah. He's like a girl Googling her next new boyfriend. Like, I got to find it all out. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you do. And you can now, too. You can find anything online. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad people. I'm not I'm out of that. We're going to have to fucking dig into people's Look shit. Look for people? 
Yeah. Have you ever had? So let me ask you this: Have you ever had anyone before, like you were married to Jesse, that like Googled you? Was Google even a thing way back in the day? Well, I he's mean, only twenty five like years old. Years old so yeah. Oh, twenty five now. Existed. It just didn't. Uh, yeah, yeah. But did no. anyone ever say like, yes. "Hey, I Googled you"? And so it, it happens all the time now too, where uh, you go, you go out with people and it's just like you probably get this too, where it's just like, "Oh, I don't I don't know what you do. I've never listened to your show. How do you know I had a show?" Oh, uh, <laughs> you, okay. You know, I you, I have never seen like I, I've never read your book or anything. It's like, how do you know I wrote? I know, but, okay. but with Google, everything is possible. The only problem is when things are wrong, like and they have wrong information on mm-hmm. you. Like uh, the celebrity net worth is now a big thing. Matt and I were talking about this too. It was just like, hey man, are you on one of the celebrity net worth pages? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, is it right? And I was like, no. No. Um, is it super far off? Like really r- under? Like ridiculously far off. It's okay. really low. Um, Matt's is really high though. And I was just like, here's how it, it works in a disadvantage for, we were going over the, the reasons why. Mm-hmm. Um, Matt's was like at 25 million or something like that. And he's just like, dude, I everybody's wish. gonna be expecting me to pay shit. Like I don't <laughs> have that fucking money. And I was like, yeah. and mine's really low. So <laughs> when I go into meetings and shit, if somebody were to look that up and you know see that, even sure. though it's not true, they'd be like, oh, this guy probably just fucking needs money or something. Yeah. Like, uh, and it's like, no, dude. Um, but in today's society, with all that shit, because there's dating trees too, mm-hmm. where it's like, oh, so and so dated so and so. Oh, you can see who dated who. Yeah, yeah. Like their whole history. P- partially oh, okay where you know they'll look back through pictures and kind of id you through that yeah and you're just like oh fuck me man um That'd and be then hard. things like wikipedia like i so i have a wikipedia page i don't know who did it yeah and it's all just a bunch of weird combined shit <laughs> um and you don't feel like it was are, like dan or jared or something well we, we people always change it so on there somebody screenshotted it to me where they were like i'm married to you know jesse wiseman and then mm-hmm. underneath it it says but i'm also in a relationship with D'Anthony Holloway. <laughs> and that was on there for a while. People fuck with your Wikipedia on a regular basis. That's yeah, funny, yeah. though. I but feel I, like I don't mind a lot it. of DB guy, you know, fans. No, if we're going to have Wikipedia pages, I just I expect that there's going to be weird shit put exactly. in Exactly. And, and, and I don't mind it, and that makes me laugh my ass off. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, but the, the problem is, like, the real shit that is on there was just, like, hodgepodge together, it looked like, by project. It looked like whatever I was working on at the time, like maybe a producer or a publicist or something stuck up one thing about it, mm. but didn't bother to change like the rest of it. So it's just like, eh, I don't really give a fuck. Um, yeah. But so you, so you've Googled, Googled yourself before then. Yes. Um, specifically because somebody told me something that was untrue about myself before I went into a meeting and I was like, Oh fuck. Yeah. Well, I don't want them to think that. And they were like, well, it's on the Google. And I was just like, nothing you can do about it. So, uh, and the worst example was my one of my best friends from college is a high powered lawyer. Yeah. Partner in this firm. Um, they'd won a case against somebody else, and this other firm or the, this other person who they were suing got a bunch of Me Too articles printed about them mm. and said that that he was accused of rape like ten or fifteen years ago and had raped all these women and all this other shit. And it was all from like Romania or something. Um, but it took two years for him to call the people and get these things taken down. But it was all like, some of them are still up. I'm not going to say ridiculous. who it is, but yeah. yeah. And so anytime you Google his name now, you're going to find one of these pictures with like a circle, red circle through it. Of oh like, my God. He's a rapist or whatever. And you're just like, Jesus <coughs> Christ, man. That's creepy. Yeah, but it's not real. Yeah. So like, you know. True. I guess, so I just did an inspection recently. I was just um, out of town and I guess some of the people during the inspection, like, or at least beforehand, Googled me mm-hmm. and they found like a picture of me, like an all kit doing like, you know, just holding a gun yeah. for one of my buddies who I've like shot with before. And I'm very big on like, I stay fully clothed for the most part in those. Like, I don't have like tits and ass out. You know, I'm very respectful still. But I guess he showed my chief who I was there with. Right. And he was like, look, this is Tiffany. Like, you have a problem with this? And my chief is like, no, she can do the fuck she wants. She's a grown ass woman. Who gives a fuck? Why are you Googling her weirdo? Yeah. You know what I mean? And later on, I was like, <coughs> why are they Googling me? That's strange. I Google so everybody. I did. I Well, I ended up looking up stuff. If I meet some random person at a bar and they <clears throat> tell me their name, I Google their name. Do you really? Yeah. The first, and a that's lot the first thing that you a do? A lot of people do. Wait, hang on. A lot I've of not because, done this. So yeah. I, I worked for a Homeland Security as an investigator. Uh, lower level stuff but that's like searching open source stuff is like the first thing you always do uh-huh. and plus I'm just curious like who this person is I've never done that with people 
I don't I don't do it I've to be creepy. It. And I've I, never, I yeah, I've never I, looked up their email, like their oh, I'm not military email <laughs> and like seen what unit they were at. I've never even ever looked at uh, anything Google wise because I don't give a fuck. So honestly. Facebook, when Facebook became, you know, big f- in my world, at least. Right. Because uh, I was super late to social media. Then yeah. it was like every meeting I went on, I was like, all right, what's their fucking sitch? And I would go to sure, Facebook, Facebook and look them up. Facebook is a little up. bit different, I think. Well, you want to see if they're legitimate. Maybe. You want to see if they're, f- you know, that friends of friends thing is always on there, too. Yeah, like, hey, nice. man, we have five friends in common where it's just like, all right, cool. There was somebody I hired recently that I looked him up on Facebook first. I, I mean, like, apparently a lot of employers do that now. Yes. Oh, That's yeah, why yeah, people yeah. are being like saying, hey, be careful with what you post online because your future employers could look at that shit and, by the way, not hire you. My Facebook profile pic is just me <coughs> double burden people because it's I just don't care. Um, well, we have. Yeah, uh, but you're not looking for a job anyway. No, correct. Our jobs. <laughs> so. Correct. Well, I wouldn't even say we're our own bosses. Like we can't mm-hmm. even we're, we're not even we can't even control ourselves. No. No. Like if we were the bosses of us. <laughs> Can you imagine that? It'd just be That'd a shit be perfect, show. Though you're like, I get to do what I want. Like I'm my own boss. Yeah. Well, I think. Look, you get to the point where you you hope you can do that one day. Where you can just oh do yeah, that. I think everyone does. Yeah. So yeah. I yeah a couple of years ago I just changed it to double a few few years back, double birds, and I was like, all right, great. How Is that long the cartoon? can I keep this? No. No, that's no, not the real. Oh, I thought it was a cartoon. A real one. pick, and <laughs> I was just like, man, let's see how long I can keep this going for. Yeah. Because that's when you know, like, hey, man. I'm doing all right. Uh, otherwise, you know, if I have a suit and tie on, shit got fucked up somewhere. Sure. Along the way. Like something went real bad. <laughs> just, I wear a suit and tie uh, all the time. No, well, not, you do not, not so much anymore, but I like wearing suits. You yeah. look good in a suit and tie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you yeah, clean up well. Sure. I, yeah. I enjoy wearing it. It's uh, To be honest, it's almost easier than wearing normal clothes. It is, but. Why? I, because you don't have to pick anything out. Like that suit oh, is that like suit. A suit and tie. If that's yeah. your profile pick, though, right? That's definitely a message to women because you're single. It's definitely a message to women. If you're wearing a suit and tie, I'm like, oh, he's a professional man going to work yeah. every day. That's not entirely accurate, but yeah. But that's the that's the presumption. Yeah. Right? yeah. So for you, if you were to put, post that, that wouldn't be true to Dan, you know. So you're saying that if you had a Tinder, that you would make it a suit yeah, and tie do you or have something? A Tinder? No. Do you have? Have any you ever gotten s- Tinder? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Back in the day, yeah. Or whatever that you were. Like, do you have any <clears throat> any dating apps? Yeah, back in the day, not now, no. Why not now? Let's move past <laughs> it. Dan, I think we're we're not moving, but we're stopping on it. Let's move past it. Because you're dating someone? You have a special lady in your I life? I might, yeah. Okay. Or a man. Uh, you never know. Either one. Pregnant dog. You never know with me. Did you did you have any uh, <clears throat> dating apps to I did it after my divorce. I did Tinder when like Tinder was before it was like a just a hookup app. I liked it. I wanted some good dates and then some psycho dates with dudes. And then the worst one was match because you had to pay for it. And all those yeah. dudes on there thought like you would have every single middle aged man who was like just overweight mm-hmm. and probably just play video games in their basement hit you up. And I'm the type of person where I always appreciate if a guy wasn't interested in me, he would still write me and tell me just yeah, as yeah, a courtesy yeah. after yeah. I'd write him. And so I would really po- politely and professionally be like, hey, like I really appreciate you reaching out to me. You know, it's not my type, but I wish you the best luck with everything. And they'd be like, fuck you, you bitch. And I'm like, whoa. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were the most hostile people on that app. Plenty of Fish was the one where it was like hit or miss. It was like, do I, am I going to get a psycho who's going to stab me? Yeah. <laughs> or I'm going to get someone who's actually pretty legit. Imagine imagine if you're a dude and you, you matched <laughs> up and it's it's Tiffany Hart shows up to your house. Yeah. It's got to be a once in a million type thing, right? Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, right. Dead serious, right? No. It's usually nobody looks like the profile pics <laughs> yeah. and all that other well, stuff. Like, so that's what happened on this one date. I went on a date with a dude, and he looked super hot in his profile pic, and I saw him in person. And no joke, the first thing I said to him was like, hey, um, you look very different than your picture. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, I've gained a lot of weight since then, and I've lost my hair. And I was like, I can see. <laughs> like, no way. And I've been in yeah, several car looked, accidents like, since then. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> he looked similar, but he was nice. And I like, I did a date with him. He wasn't my type, though. And we, con- we continued to talk a little bit after, and I eventually did tell him, like, hey, I really do like you. Like, you seem like a nice guy. However, I don't really see this going anywhere. You know what he ended up doing to me fucking later on? No. So he was like a tech nerd, right? Mm. Like... He was into all this stuff. He sent me whatever fucking text it was that would literally lock your phone. Like, he sent me a text that literally erased and encrypted my phone and locked it. I couldn't get on it at all. No way. Yes. It was fucking crazy. And all I knew that I was TDY in the Grand Canyon going through a wilderness first responder course. And I was like, dude, I can't get on my phone at all. I can't get a hold of anyone. My phone's locked. And I ended up... Um, 
somehow using like the voice app thing on it to ca- like call my sister and I said, can you guys look this up? You mean Siri. I use Siri. Yeah. <laughs> say it. Say it. <laughs> Siri. Yeah. Siri. You, Siri. I call it baby Siri. Siri you used to call Siri. it Siri back in the day and I, I think I've corrected yeah, that. Yeah, I've barely yeah. used Siri, but I've yeah, I used Siri. I said call Abby and I had him look it up and all I had to do was apparently get to his text message somehow and respond to him. So I had to like try to look up, you know, at Siri again to have him look up his um, text message and I yeah. wrote, fuck you, dude. Thanks a lot. Because it was some like weird looking Arabic thing. And Ooh. when you Googled it online, it showed specifically that if someone sent it to you, Fuck up your phone. That's wild. He was that upset with me, <laughs> I guess. Did you throw him a bead? Weeks later. Anything? No, we never even kissed. A little uh-huh. hando. No. Little. Yeah, because sometimes a hando, dude, like people will be like, oh, No, man. there was not. There wasn't even a good night. Kiss. Okay. Because it's he just. He looked that different. Yeah, but like it has to take me a lot to want to like make out with someone on the first date. Okay. Like they had to be really, I had to find him really attractive physically <coughs> and um, <coughs> I don't know. Spiritually. Meant like I they I had to find him super funny. We had to have a good connection, and then okay. then it depends from there. My yeah, problem yeah, yeah. with you the know. dating sites is that I can't. I'm too much of a piece of shit. Like I'm too much of a troll. There's so many opportunities to fuck with people there, right? Because everybody, it's it's a it's an environment that's just primed for bullshit. You know what I mean? Like everybody has expectations, and not only expectations, but they also bring baggage. And you can clearly tell from somebody's profile what kind of expectations they have and what kind of baggage they bring. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Like their profile, as in what they say or how they look. I want a man that blah blah blah. And it's Who some fucking that now? fat girl. I want no a man one, that fucks tough. No yeah. one writes that anymore. <laughs> Every girl has like a quirky little. It's cute, a woman. Funny saying. No, 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 it's a woman who says something like. Loyalty and honesty are the most important things to me. That woman has been cheated on repeatedly throughout sure. her entire adult life. And yes. I know that now. And I can use that to fuck with her if I want. Yeah. In that case, I wouldn't. That's, that's a mean way. I fuck with people in a funny way, right? I'm just saying that's one example of how you can clearly tell that someone... Like if a woman on Facebook, if her fucking... Uh, we've talked about this before, but if her relationship status is divorced mm-hmm. and not single... Like once you're divorced, you're single, yeah, you're no not divorced. Put divorce. Divorce is something that happened. Yeah, that is an that is a verb. That is not a noun. But maybe they want to know since <clears> it's like, hey man, I get a fucking baby with me, dude. No, just the, all the pictures of her with the baby is probably enough. When she writes divorce down instead of single, she's sending a message. So how are you meeting these bruisers that that you're <laughs> hanging out with now? How I don't. Do when's them? the last time you saw me with any woman? It's like fucking months ago. Well, before that, Dan, there was a, there was a lot in and out. That door was swinging. I just know it was like people. a saloon door. I meet people organically, mostly, <laughs> honestly, through friends of friends and shit like that. Okay. Back in the day, anyways. So not at, like, bars and shit. Like, because we have a bunch of guests not that come really. and usually go out. Um, not really. I'd but, rather meet someone organically if I can. It's tough, though, right? I like to meet it's people through nowadays, friends of friends. If people yeah. don't go out as much, yeah. Even yeah. even just, like, people that I'm going to be hanging out with, I would prefer to meet them through friends of friends or something yeah. like that. Because at least they've been at least pre-vetted, and I can get some dirt on them before. Kind sure. Of, kind of pre-vetted. You know I mean? Some people hang yeah. out with people that... I you know. would. I think I, I don't mean, mind hanging out with sketchy people. Jared is one of our best friends, and he's one of the most sketchiest dudes. Oh yeah, on yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but he also hangs out with pretty <laughs> awesome people. He hangs out with both. Both. Like yeah. you'll never know if you're gonna get uh, <laughs> like somebody drinking. I know. Out I'm of not a saying all of them are awesome, but I'm saying <laughs> yeah. like he hangs out with some pretty legit people, though. He does. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But he also hangs out. Miss. He's a dirtbag, and so are we. I went to I went to a, a, a dinner, uh, long day shooting, um, and he's like, "Hey, how about we meet for dinner later?" Um, Because I wasn't shooting with him. And I was like, all right, cool. So we met at this place that was by one of my favorite restaurants in San Antonio. And I get there. Which one? um, Fuck, we ate at the bar there. Uh, Oh, uh, Cured? Yes. Yeah, that place is dope. Uh, Cured. And then there's another one, too, that's really good. That whole area is really good. Uh, Either way. You're talking about the Pearl. Yes. Is that where we went? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. was good. That yeah. whole area has got a bunch of great restaurants. Um, anyways, so afterwards, you know, he's like, meet me up here when you're done. I was like, all right, oh, great. Yeah. And then I get there and there's like 12 swingers oh. at a table. And I was, was just this like. recently? Uh, yeah. Within the last six months. Okay. Because sure. he's gotten into swinging recently. Yeah. yeah I feel which like. that, that episode is out today, actually. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he's even still on that, though. Jer- like things process. He, he changes. Things quickly. process so quickly. He's. My my guess is Jared will be in a serious relationship sometime in the next two to three months, and I remember I've known yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've known him since what year is this? I've known him for third, that was on yesterday. Almost, show, yeah, yeah. almost fourteen years now. Yeah, um, but here was the weird thing about it, right? <laughs> the swingers, a couple of them had dated before, 
mm-hmm. in the past and like one guy was upset still about this one girl really and that shit just can't work and or last no. and i was just like yeah all right how far are these guys going to take this? You're talking about friend groups and shit. Yes. People yeah. people have friend groups now. I didn't that wasn't a thing when I was It shouldn't be a Wait, thing. Wait, what do you at mean? All. Like there's <clears throat> these people who are in their 20s and 30s who they hang out with the same 10 people all the time. And they call it a friend group. Yeah. Like, you guys like, oh, ever had that in high school? Group. What are you doing? I'm just hanging out with the guys. And by the guys, they mean all these people. I'm like, "No, I want to hang out with my girl and maybe like three other people." Once I just a call month? my friends my friends, right? Yeah. But now people call it friend, friend groups. groups. Yeah, oh. and it's just like, oh, it's my group of guys and girls. Oh, I just had a group. I, I had, had a group of five or six girlfriends that I hung out with often, like all the time in college. I mean, in high school. Yeah, but that's normal. Yeah, that was normal. Yeah, but this then. was a this was a full on. But a group where they all would fuck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're all friends that just fucked. Yeah. I feel like that would cause a lot of animosity and. Oh, well, it did. Weird. I heard it stories d- all the time. Oh, dude, so did I. So like. Discussing Justin, um, he t- ended up dating one of them, and he was like, "Oh man, this girl's great. I fucking, she's rad. She's the best." And I was like, "She's swinger." He goes, "Yeah." yeah. And I was like, uh, <laughs> "Oh, that guy I don't, is disgusting." End poorly. I don't think she was, but I do think there was another guy involved. Uh, it was a dude know. actually? Oh, so, it was a girl. Yeah, yeah. So well, that's fine. Ended up getting uh, eaten out <laughs> on a float, like one of those. Oh, that's cool. Uh, pizza float. Rafts. That's just a lazy. Oh, Saturday. that sounds <laughs> awesome. That's what I would do. <laughs> but it was another girl. Um, <laughs> tongue's a tongue. I was gonna point. say, yeah, yeah, yeah. She might be better. Who knows? Yeah, but it was in front of you know maybe 20, 30 people, and yeah, he was kinda, not I happy mean, about that's that. Their thing, because he he, oh, he was with us actually. He started getting a bunch of texts, uh-huh. and it was just like over and over. He was like, "Hey man, girlfriend's getting eaten out of this party <laughs> on a pizza float in the middle of this pool." Was she drunk? Who knows? I'm assuming yeah. alcohol was involved. That's not something you walk into sober. I don't think so like, either, yeah. unless they're like super freaky. Yeah. Could you like. imagine you show up at a pool party, 1 p.m., pull I know. your dick out and ask for a beach on a on a nice pizza like float? Like sober? Yeah, sober. Like just go downtown. <laughs> sober beach on a, on a pizza float where you're just in front of like 30 people. You're I like, like that's a pizza floaty though. I yeah, like yeah. that. Wins I like when I women refer to masturbating as jerking off. Like, I oh, don't. What about flicking the beam? No, that's dumb. Nope, I don't like what about playing the DJ? No. I what? like I like when women for three. like if I asked a woman uh, what she was doing and she's like oh it's jerking off I'm like oh that's funny because it's funny I think it's funny <laughs> what about what do they call it masturbating um, that's fine too, yeah masturbating's fine with that's me. fine yeah uh, pounding off would also be pounding acceptable. off that's like yeah. a guy term though it uh, is, so yeah. is jerking off yeah. I just think it's funny when women like some stuff like suck huh. my dick you don't like that right are you big in a joi joi yeah joi videos jerk off <laughs> instruction videos. No, I've never a jerk off instruction. Oh yeah, yeah. It's where J O I sex is happening, or the woman's masturbating, and the woman is it's telling, telling you, you like what to do, like jerk off faster, or yeah. stick your finger up your butthole, or whatever the case is. I've never, no, I've never seen those. It's well, a whole fucking nights. You get to go home. I know and look it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> J-O-I is a big, that's a big one on there. Is it really? Uh, Dudes yeah. just want to no, be I told, told you, what I have, to do. Well, I've, I went from <clears throat> amateur to, um, I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say it's BDSM, but oh, what was his name again? Gray, something gray. I like that. Uh, there's Christian the, gray. No. <laughs> 50 no, shades of gray. But it was like these two tatted dudes, like getting really rough for this one chick. Oh, Owen gray. Oh, oh, and gray. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's not my type visually, but his body and dick and, like, everything else and the way he, like, very has thin. sex. Yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's got the know. alphabet tattooed down his leg. I kind of like it. I think his tattoos. He, Him and some other tattooed guy who are both very rough went on some chick. James I, Dean. Was that mm. him? Uh, the, yeah, something's he, hands. Something's something hand guy. Like, it's, they call no. him, his nickname is something small hands or something. No. He ain't, he ain't small. I'll tell you that right now. But he's got small hands. I don't know. I wasn't looking at his hands. <laughs> very fucking hot. It's a very, very. I I like that that. This is video. it right here. So I went from amateur. Like I like I start. Yes, that one. This one right What's here. What's his name? Uh, uh, his his nick his porn name is Small Hands. That's what I'm saying. Small, Small hands. hands. Yeah. yeah. Double <laughs> cream pie. He's got a nice dick though. Yeah. What's, and the, they what's both the video called? Go- double cream pie one. <laughs> it's called uh, double- BBG threesome with Kristen Scott, Small Hands, and Owen Gray. What's BBG? What does that stand for? I don't know. A BBG. Big black. No. No. They're it's both white. Gooch. 
No, I don't is know. Big Black Goose? All I know is it came up, and I was like, oh, and then I was like, I really like this. And so I have like the time where I get to it on it. It's like 3.31 or something around the time. Yeah. Where I'm like, this is my spot. And then I start looking at the other ones with Owen Gray, but I like him with that Chris and Scott chick. Like, I can't handle so many chicks on there. Like, there's certain chicks I can't do. Sure. This is the way they act and talk and they're, they're whatever they do. But she, I like. I like her. Have you ever gone, like, you know, Research a porn star so much that you found their Facebook profile. Oh, BGG is boy, girl, girl. Oh, that's what it is. Also, um, what is I it? never, I, boy, I, boy, girl, boy, girl, girl. Oh, BGG. Okay. Yeah. Did research Owen Gray enough to where I found out <laughs> that he was married for seven years. Like really? I was telling Dan about it. Yeah. And he always wears his, his wedding ring in his videos too. And he was uh, nice. a submissive to a dom before and so he's really into that and he'll actually mm. do gay porn I guess sometimes too. Like he'll take it in the butt from girls. Or like that's not gay. Well, wait, wait, I, well, I'm s not that, but he'll uh, do like nope. I think he's done it with girls <clears throat> with guys before. Look, I, I don't. I don't know that's for sure. I'm not telling you to go out and get pegged. All I'm saying is there is nothing that a heterosexual woman can do to a heterosexual man no. that's gay. By definition, it is impossible. Period. I mean, if you're getting pegged, no, that's not gay. No, there's nothing gay about that. that. Very defensive, Dan. I know we've had. I don't talk care before. about gayness. Like you can we've be as gay talk, as you want. I feel you I'm a little bit different no. in this. I don't, have you I don't, pegged a guy, Tiffany? <clears throat> no. I don't think I would be into it. I have not. But would I would it? not. What? Would you try it? No. I would personally not be into that. Like, fingers, like, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, I don't mind tickling the prostate or whatever else. But, like, literally putting, like, what is shaped as a dick. Yeah. For me, that would not turn me on in any way. I would be very turned <laughs> off by that. <laughs> well, you've been married for how long now? Three. Yeah. So what if your husband came home and was just like, hey. I just want to give this a go. I would ask him to do it with one of those team buddies or something. <laughs> so you would rather him get no, fucked I'm by kidding. an actual dude. I'm kidding. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I would start asking why and say, like, hey, you know, can we, like, try maybe a couple other things that are smaller and sure. see if that suffices at first. If it was something that he really, like, really wanted, I don't know. I, I think that later on, if you really start liking it too much, I'd be concerned that maybe he did like men. Got it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, what's yeah. the difference between me and the, the guy? The difference now? is a giant, hairy, sweaty body versus your tiny female body. That's the goddamn. Okay, difference. but what I'm saying. So then, why isn't every chick with a girl? No, I mean, no offense Can't to dudes. That out. Yeah. Do you know what no, I'm that's, saying? That is the no, no, because, no. Like, question that I can have, never figure out. That's a, that's an easy solution. What do you mean you can't figure it out? It's fucking. For girls are better kissers. It's in your DNA. One. Women, <clears throat> women don't get married to dudes and have their Two, babies. Like, Stop. Okay. Women don't get married to dudes <laughs> and have their babies because they're good kissers or because their bodies are smooth. They do it because men are protectors. Like that's that's what this Women whole thing is about. Women can still be protectors. Why do you think that I'm there's sure always they can. like one that's a little bit more like manly and butch, right? And when I'm they feel sure like it's more feminine, they can. Yes, but throughout all of human history, yeah, men have been larger. I mean, we're we have more bone density, and muscle mass. We're, we've been the hunters forever, and most cultures forever. That's just in your DNA. Sure, but there's also some guys who take really good care of their bodies who are also smooth and smell good and they're not super hairy and disgusting. Yeah, so if you're like skirting that line, if you're in the middle somewhere, that's what's for you, for sure. Yeah. So. But most women like burly fucking dudes. That's just how it is. I would and say most. I know a lot of women <clears throat> growing up who hated hair on dudes. That's, that's anecdotal. Read any like of the research. Burly. Yeah. No. I, like some, smooth <laughs> men is, is where uh, that's that's what every girl says. Yeah, I mean I like my guys hairy you now. Before I didn't like any it's type of chest hair, thing. but like I'm not even saying hairy, but I like them to be a man. Yeah, Manly, I, I don't yeah. care about any of that stuff. Yeah. Like you you can shave it and do whatever you want, but you don't need to because yeah. I like it all. I tried to so. friend I tried to friend a porn star on Facebook. That's why I brought that up earlier. You did? Yeah, back in the day. <laughs> Wait, so you what looked was up his name? A, Single Russ? Yeah. <laughs> you so you googled a, a porn star that you liked enough. Went to Facebook. That you went to her Facebook. Well, here's the thing. You, and you, you know, you find out their real names, tried right? To find, oh. And you're like, all right, cool. Your name so you is found actually, out her real name. Yeah, yeah, this. And then I went. That's a little to, creepy. Tried to friend her. No, I didn't know. Maybe did we had some of the it? same interests. No, she did not. <laughs> she was like, block you, fucker. Well, here's the, other, here's the other part, too, is I wanted to find out if we had any <laughs> of the same friends. Uh-huh. Because it's, look, porn is obviously in L.A. Uh-huh. She's living in L.A. Yeah. It's the fucking capital. Yeah. It was, chances are. You know someone. I was bound to be friends with somebody Correct. they were friends with. Here was the, the, the fascinating thing that I found behind this, right? Mm -hmm. Was it said a different state entirely. It said like Indiana. Huh. Um, yeah. 
And I was like, oh, all right, fuck. Well, I mean, like, uh, what's her name? Tiana Trump. She lives in Baltimore. She just goes to L.A. to do porn, and it goes back to Baltimore. And then goes home. Yeah, yeah but there, there's <laughs> a lot of people in the porn industry who um, got out of it. So, like, the videos we're seeing now. They're not anymore. No, they're done, man. And wow. I'm just like, yo. I wonder how they go back to a bothered. normal life after that. There's a, a, a documentary on Netflix called uh, Life After Porn. Is there really? Yes. I'll watch that. Because I'm so interested. It's hard to get jobs and all that other shit. I'm, I can only imagine. You yeah. Google someone, even if they have a name, you can immediately just put in someone's picture yeah. and do face recognition yeah. now. And you could pull up all their You don't want them teaching your kids if videos. they were getting gangbanged Why not? to south of France. Who cares? They'll, maybe they'll teach your kids some useful skills instead of dumb shit. Well, like how to give a good squeezer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a good squeezer. Squeezer, you mean working on kegels? Yeah. No, yeah. A, a handy. A handy. Oh, I thought you meant like the vagina. J O I, dude. <clears throat> Take J O I. It's going to be your whole night tonight. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> well, I, I will say feeling... this is one of my um, husband's like best friends. His So he has a new girlfriend, and her and I were talking at one of the races. What are you looking up now? I'm looking up porn stars' real I names. I can see that. Yeah. And uh, she was talking to me how about she like how she squirts mm. how she's a squirter and i was like oh well, that's awesome and i just assumed that if you're a squirter that you just always have been and she's like no i taught myself and i was like okay hold up a second really i was like tell me how you taught yourself and she was just talking to me about the position and what she has to do and like you know and so i ended up googling a lot of it too and yeah. like reading articles and trying i mean it didn't work for me it's but, all urine by the but way i was also really? at home alone yes. that well that's it's, what she was saying she goes it probably is going to feel like it's urine but it's really not and then i'm like okay but is so it? it's urine yeah there have so been there have been there have been a number of scientific studies on this it is absolutely urine so every article i read kept telling me it was not urine that they're wow. legit, like squirting, supposedly. Not but true. All Not I true. know is no, that we, I, I remember we mixture. all shared an Airbnb together, and there was three bedrooms there, and they f- apparently Sucked. fucked in one, <laughs> and they slept in another. And I was like, "Why?" And he was like, "Don't go in there." Yeah. And I was like, oh, "Okay." And then it's she told me later, mess. "Yeah, but I was like, that's crazy that you taught yourself how to do that." Good on. I mean, excuse me. Good on you. The cleanup on that is so <laughs> intense that it's oh, just not imagine. worth dating somebody. Well, like that a- unless you have the ghost bed mattress protector yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> then you're good <laughs> <laughs> then it just rolls off just like rainwater like a duck's back yeah if you've ever come on duck's back which well, obviously i have it's rare um <laughs> i don't think anyone really does so that. the fluid from squirting is watered down urine and some Ooh, sometimes it has it? a little bit of ejaculate in it it comes from the bladder and exits via the, you know, the urethra mm. like if you have you ever fucked a girl that squirted on you yeah did it? It didn't come from inside of her fucking vagina hole. You know, it was dark. And, uh, it There's was only the two holes the there. Because look, by the way, man, there are two holes down there, not just the one. You can't fuck with them because it's too small. Nobody's ever so had. So it's literally someone peeing. Yes. Yeah. Nobody's ever had voluntary like. Or uh, scratch that. Maybe it has. For you, Dan, has, has a girl ever said before you started fucking, "Hey, I just want to give you a heads up. I'm a squirter." That's probably yeah. a good thing to do. I in t- all honesty. Really? Yeah. Somebody, somebody, somebody said that. Yeah, and then I threw them out. No, you did not. <laughs> Dickhead? Dan doesn't care. Just kidding. No, listen. But that is actually really nice of someone <laughs> to do that, though, because I you would think, especially if you're at their home, like, mm-hmm. hey, I just want to let you know yeah. that I have the tendency to squirt. So, by the way, this is probably going to be really messy. So, in case we want to put stuff down, yeah, you know, like towels or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So, yeah. well, it, I don't know. It's just something nice. I mean, if you're, at a, if you're at a children's party and you're on all the coats i guess it doesn't really matter right? <laughs> yeah that's called you know a callback tiffany of? and it's a comedic fucking device it reminds right? me of dane cook where he's like someone shit on or around the coat area you remember that <laughs> <laughs> that's all it reminds me of the whole time okay well i had no idea it was pee i mean and i did hear too that it, if you do have to go pee and if you have sex it makes your orgasm more intense so because you're like <laughs> trying to hold it in i've heard some slash. women have trouble orgasming because they feel like it's they're trying to pee and their brain instinctively is trying to hold it sure you n- no one naturally immediately most people think that they should just pee on the person that they're having no sex and I, with. Th- I remember the first time i pounded off like i pinched the end of it off i was like 11 maybe oh you stopped and i was pounding happening? off and all of a sudden I'm like what the fuck is happening here and yeah. i like pinched it off I'm like, oh, Did it squirt God, like as if you're pinching the water hose and it just like no i like really all had a, over i've got a very strong grip I, str- so I strangled my penis. Yeah. I'm surprised it still works. <laughs> well, now I fire ropes over my shoulder all the time when I'm 
It's it's rough. Uh, what the you're PSI shooting cum really, over your shoulder? The PSI yeah. really built up over the years. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm. It does that's impressive? It's like you can make your cum do tricks. Yeah, I can like so like a like. yo-yo, like walk the dog. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> you should be on America's Got Talent and just sit there and jerk <laughs> off from everyone and make your cum do <laughs> tricks. <Could> you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Simon Cowell. What do you think of this? I like bounce. <laughs> I got your <laughs> cum <laughs> to do I, a I bounce it off. Bounce it <laughs> off your glass and goes through a fucking basketball yeah, hoop. This is the Spider Man. <laughs> you do it with the back of your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> you jack off and then it's on the back of your wrist and you start shooting people in the crowd. <laughs> And it just takes out a grandma. She's like, oh. <laughs> she gets taken down. Uh, I can only great. imagine that you like go up there and you're like, you give this really inspirational speech like, hi, I'm Dan. Like, you know, this is how I grew up. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Is, and then like you just like pull down your pants and just start going at it like in front of everyone. And by the time that a security gets of, out to you, they're getting cum in their eyes. And yeah. <laughs> a bunch of criminals, like the old timey criminals are running across stage and then all of a sudden their legs get wrapped up and then they've got <laughs> X's on their eyes. Um, and as they're dragging around. me off the stage, I'm yelling, I fought and died for this country. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mr. Roper coming to theaters 2020. Do you want to make that oh my movie? God. Mr. Roper. Well, we've uh, already got Spread Eagle Jack. I don't think we can do Mr. Spread Roper. Eagle Jack, Mr. Roper. Mr. Roper was in uh, Three's Company. So Yeah, he's dead now. Uh, R.I.P. Both were dead now. There was two Mr. Ropers. Did you no. say R.O.P. or R.I.P.? Mr. <laughs> <laughs> you just said R.O.P., I swear. R.O.P. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It was Mr. Furley. Mr. Furley, Furley's yeah, but dead. Roper's dead too. Roper's dead. Both are dead. Both uh, are dead. John Redder, he died of AIDS or something, right? Probably, probably. Some kind of blood disease. It was some weird blood disease. Eh, who knows? He was it, on Three's Company. It was when he was making that show, uh, Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter or whatever the mm. fuck. And he just like dropped dead all yeah. of a sudden. Well, RIP to him. Uh,. <laughs> R- 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 o- that, that's the that's the best R- o- mention he's gonna get R- right o- after a conversation <laughs> about fucking cum. Yeah, let's uh, <laughs> let's get to the drinking bro of the week, shall we? Uh, this one's coming in from Grant Bonar. That's a tough last name. And what, I hope how do you I'm spell it? Pronouncing it right. Uh, we're gonna spell it out on the show. That is B O N A R. It's probably Bonner, not Boner. I, I said I said Bonar. <laughs> yeah, it's probably bo- Bonner. <laughs> is it a soft O? Bonner. Am I mispronouncing guess. that? It's probably Bonner. You obviously have dick on your brain right now. I would no. I would just really change that to emphasize <laughs> it. You sure, know? Sure. That's too close to Bonner. <laughs> it's too close to Bonner. Um, Jeffrey Hard Dick is yeah. on the show today. <laughs> and here's the thing. So when these stories come in, we or when the drinking row nominations we come in. I hope this isn't a sad one, but it, it probably is. And now, it's just <laughs> no. way to go. Now, you, now we you're really read it because we want to get it live sure, or whatever yeah. it is, right? Um, <laughs> Dear drinking bros, oh man, I'm not, fuck. <laughs> you, oh. I don't know. I don't know yet. I, I know this is a long shot, but I'd like to dedicate the drinking bro of the week, month, year uh, of 2019 to my brother, Adrian Darren Bonar. Bonner. Bonner. Probably. Damn it. <laughs> fuck. He served honorably for six years in the U.S. Army's 3rd in- in- Infantry Division. He was senselessly murdered on Thursday. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. God damn it. What happened? Uh, what does it say? He was a man who loved life and loved to live to the fullest. Uh, he had the biggest goofy smile, and he always went out of his way to help others. His memory lives on now in his two children, daughter Piper, uh, his son Rowan, and he did not deserve to be taken so soon and so brutally. Oh, my god! But he will always, uh, but he always said, never, ever give up, and he's the reason I have chosen to become a firefighter. At 21, I never would have expected to bury my older brother, but I know he's looking down on me saying, don't give up, and that's why I feel he should be drinking bro of oh, that makes me the sad. week. Uh, shit, man. I First of all, cheers. Um, and yep. Thank yeah. you for, for this. And uh, it was obviously, it's always our pleasure and our honor to read these out. However, like I was telling you earlier, we don't. No, we never know. We never know. Until the so we just end. open up the <clears throat> inbox and drink and bros podcast. Like half the time it's like, Hey, my fucking dad punched some dude in the face last week. I'm like, All right, cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then half the time it's a dead guy. Uh, yes. Honestly. And oh, hopefully sad, Well, here I have a feeling that him and his brother, Adrian, mm-hmm. have gone through the last name Bonar together. Oh Jesus! Of course. Well, he's in the and service. And about it. You know he was giving shit. Times. They had to. You have to embrace it. But that's yeah. that's terrible though that he was <laughs> murdered. And he sucks. has two kids. Yep. Like what the fuck? That sucks. So to the Bonars. Yeah. Cheers. The Bonners. Do you think it's Bonner? 
I would say Bonner. Bonner yeah. Grant, right into the show. His name is Grant Bonner or Bonar. I don't know. <laughs> it's B O N A R. Grant, right into the show and let us know if how if you spell we, it, like how, or, say or it. how it sounds, the phonetic, yeah, yeah the spelling. phonetic sounding of it, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, Tiffany, you know. Yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? There's a look in your eyes. I don't know. Is, uh, well, I was trying not to cry when I was re- when you read it, and then. Yeah. Every it's like Dan says. Sometimes it's going to be super sad. Sometimes it's not. I know. It just sucks that it's you okay. start off with the name. No, I think I found them on the internet. What's this? What's the pronunciation <laughs> on that? I'm thing? looking because Facebook has that sometimes. Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, people do put that on there. That's oh smart. yes, yes they do. Yeah. He doesn't have it. Oh boo! Thanks a lot, asshole. Yeah. Grant. Maybe maybe he wants people <laughs> to pronounce it. I know. Boner. 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 Yeah, I mean, I think here's the why thing. not? Kid, you don't want that. Sure. But then as an adult, don't like, you like it? Yeah. You embrace it. You just have fun ah, with it. Ah, boners oh, here. The boners are here. Yeah, the boners yeah, are like, here. Yeah. If you're in a frat, that's got to be the best name ever. Oh, easily. Oh, easily. Yeah. Boner. Do you remember, <laughs> by the way, Growing Pains? Yeah. Yeah. His little they had a character named his character was named Boner. Like, no, how it was not. It was it? Boner. Which one? Kurt Cameron's best friend. Best friend was named Boner, Boner on the show. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I don't that. even remember know when they did a serious episode <laughs> about doing cocaine. At somebody's house, you can't do cocaine boner. And bo- yeah, yeah, exactly. No way. Like and boner stayed and did it. Yeah. Uh, wow, so, yeah. boner, you can't do cocaine. No, and I was like, man, this- you know, someone purposely named it that, though. You know, it was I'm weird. Sure. You could get away with that shit in the late eighties. Oh yeah. Now you can't do dick. Just like that song. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. How's it go again? I forget. <laughs> Only one way to breathe hard and fucked up. Turn around, we can do all the butt stuff. <laughs> you can do it to me. Let's put the strap on and see. You got me down on my knees, and now I'm begging you, please. I think one day you're gonna get that call. Yeah. For the strap on. From your, from your <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yes, I don't from your think husband, so. At all. He's gonna be like, hey. <laughs> what was this kid's real name? We'll have to see. We'll have Grant to see. Grant bon- Bonner. No, the fucking kid that played Boner on the show. Oh, I don't know. He's dead though. Is he really? Yeah, he died. Oh, Richard Boney Stabone. Stabone, yeah. Andrew Stabone? Richard Wait, Stabone the was the hell? character's name. Andrew Koenig was his name. Yeah, he's he's. Uh, what I was believe, his character's name? I believe again? he killed himself. Man, we're gonna end it on a real. <laughs> I know, super positive here. note yeah. right here. How about we talk about Dan jerking off again for America's Got Does Talent? <laughs> <laughs> his name was Boner. Look at that. Yeah, his name was Boner on the show. Oh, he's well. Richard his T. His nickname Stabone was Boner, was but his last yeah, name but was you can't, Stabone. That doesn't that doesn't excuse it. That's like your na- your last name being Hunt. I'm like, oh, it's it's Cunt, everybody. Yeah. You couldn't say that on TV. Why could you say Boner on TV? So, have you guys seen those old uh, ladies singing the song that's like, "Try not to, to be, be a cunt, cunt a little Christmas." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know, oh my I know, God, t- I, love I know it. two of those ladies. I went to high school with one of them. No, you did not. Yeah, she was really. No, you did she not. She looks bad for her age. Yeah. And she, really? You did not. They are <laughs> much older than you. You. Because <laughs> we have hers. Stop Classic trying to break, break your thumb. No, uh, Tiff. We love when you're here. Yeah. Um, come back. <laughs> well, numerous, numerous times, over and over and over again. Uh, you're one of our favorites. Thank yeah. you. And uh, mm-hmm. to Richard T. Stabone's family. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The real one. I think he's. I think he killed himself. I think Boner killed himself. Andrew Koenig. Yeah. Let me look it up right uh, quick. Look it up real quick before we get off air. Because I, I think he did, and I just want to end it on the worst note positive. <laughs> Hopefully he killed himself with a boner. America's Got Talent with ropes. Uh, it looks like he turned into a human rights activist. Maybe he set himself on fire. Um, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. All I know is I'm signing Dan up for the next America's oh, Got Talent. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Did he what? die? So Koenig was last seen in, seen in Vancouver, British Columbia on February 14th, Valentine's Day, 2010. Yes. <clears throat> and missed a scheduled flight on February 16th, which was the last day he used a cell phone or okay. conducted any banking. Uh, on February 25th, a group of friends and family found him hanging out from a tree in Vancouver's Stanley Park. Damn. Told you. <clears throat> Man. Damn. That's uh, pretty fucked up. Yeah. So guy. let's end it there. For D'Anthony, <laughs> D'Anthony Holloway, and Tiffany Hart, and Ross Patterson. Good night, everyone. I want you to think about Dan's last comments and enjoy your day um, <laughs> wherever you are listening to the show. <laughs> I love you guys. Good night. <laughs> I was thinking about a guy hanging himself. <laughs> I'm so fucked up. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing at picturing Dan drinking off and just come doing tricks. 
<laughs> We've never had a show with that. Just you literally like read out how he killed himself. 